Welcome to our one shot uh, playthrough here of the Brotherhood. Uh, it's going to be our Fallout based campaign uh, that's coming up in probably about a month. We're doing this so we can get all of this situated so we can make sure everything's up and working the way that we want it to be working. Uh, we'll cover quick bits of news that we have. Uh, we're going to do uh, Tyranny on Monday. Uh, we have Brewing Storm on Tuesday. We're back here for Empire on Wednesday. Uh, then Sunday. Sunday is Ascension. Uh, Monday again with Tyranny. We don't have another newer game or a, another new campaign thing until Giants on Wednesday, uh, June 6th. And Alliance is back on June 9th. Uh, I believe everybody is in Discord and ready to go. All right, uh, are you guys ready here? Ready to go. Okay. So Probably. Let's, let's uh, do this thing. So here's your background for this one shot. Uh, after successfully defending the pier for the past 10 years from the Enclave soldiers, uh, the Brotherhood have finally, uh, or the, the Enclave has finally returned to claim what they believe to be rightfully theirs. Uh, the pier has provided the Brotherhood with an incredible training facility and barracks, uh, as well as an important port of call uh, for them to uh, secure the city of Chicago in the Midwest itself. Our adventure starts on the morning of the uh, second month of battles between the Enclave and the Brotherhood. Things have remained quiet for a few days now, kind of an unspoken ceasefire between the troops. Perhaps the Enclave was planning something big. Uh, you awaken from your bunk by the sound of mortar shells bombarding the outside of the pier's auditorium. The sound of dust and debris falling from the ceiling, the rumbling and the shaking lands that you stand on, troops quickly climb from their beds preparing for the incoming attacks. This is your battle to lose. Go ahead and switch you guys. Actually, no, I'm going to show you this. All right. Uh, you find yourself uh, standing within the bunks of the old festival hall of the Navy Pier Auditorium. Uh, the massive single level convention area uh, is a uh, very large of this very large multi-story building has become your home for a considerable amount of time now let's change some music here too uh, this is where you uh, began your basic training over a year ago uh, now however the auditorium is complete chaos as uh, people race out uh, to the docks and upstairs to get to their commands uh, or to get their commands as they prepare for the incoming battle uh, by the Enclave. Your personal items and other effects sit in your footlocker at the foot of your bed. A handful of caps, roughly 20 of them. Uh, your Brotherhood provided gear, uh, combat knife, your weapons in factional armor, uh, along with uh, the ranking of which you are currently an initiative. Or an initiate, I'm sorry. Uh, as you gather your gear and you make your way upstairs, uh, where the Brotherhood leadership has begun to formulate their plans, uh, the hall of the former Grand Ballroom now serve as a command center for the Brotherhood. Uh, the main uh, level is very active with knights and paladins, uh, still getting geared up, grabbing their power armor, and making their way quickly to the western entrance to defend it. Uh, your detachment, is assigned to Paladin James, the individual you see in your picture. Uh, he's an older member of the Brotherhood who's been uh, helping you to prepare for moments just like this in recent months. 
Uh, you search around for him a bit, but you're unable to actually find him at first. Uh, it's easy to lose people with all the commotion around. As the detachment moves through the ballroom, uh, you hear a familiar voice of Paladin James with his uh, gruff voice, very unmistakable. You hear him shout out, Hold up, scribe. Can't you hear all the racket outside? Let's get this plating on so I can move out. As you approach uh, the paladin, he begins to grin a bit, uh, feeling a sense of pride, knowing that you're a group capable of taking on almost anything you come across. He stands up straight and looks over uh, the detachment as he welcomes you. Uh, the engineering scribe next to him grimaces a bit as the paladin continues to move around as he's attempting to put the pieces of the power armor uh, shell onto the newly acquired uh, frame. The paladin smiles again and looks at you and says, I knew this day would come. Initiatives, or initiates, this is the real deal. The Enclave has pushed upon our location and threatens to take back the pier. We cannot let them do this, no matter the cost. I have done everything I can to prepare you for what lies ahead. We have two points of focus here, protecting the auditorium and then securing the vertebrate docks, and then reach the mall once you're finished. But believe me, once you step foot out of this auditorium, death is a real possibility. And now, the floor is open to you. What are, would you like to speak to him? Would you like to continue on? Uh, uh, Abigail Reyes uh, perks up uh, now that he's given the floor to us and she looks over to the other scribe that's gearing him up and she finally says uh, sir do we have uh, an estimate on the Enclave forces mm, well those sneaky bastards we really have no idea how many they have coming in we know it's a lot shit ton probably they've been hovering around just outside of our reach from our cannons. Their dropships are inbound, uh, though we don't know how many they're bringing in at this time. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on some of those plasma weapons, though. He grins and says, Indeed, Enclave does seem to have a good variety of weapons and at their disposal. Well, uh, I'm just here to keep them patched up, so uh, when they're ready, we can get moving. Anybody else? You have three potential objectives here. Do you need to know anything about them before you move forward? Beck will speak up and ask, what is, what's our assignment for this? Uh, he'll look at you and say, well, we first need to stop the insurgents from coming in through the auditorium. Sure, we have our outposts and watchtowers set up outside, but it's not going to work against these Enclave soldiers. Sure, we might be able to stop a couple of random ferals here and there, but this is a bit more. Uh, should you go out there, uh, just give some supporting fire to our knights and ensure we don't lose the auditorium. Uh, from there, you can make your way towards the vertebrate docks. Uh, he kind of points again out west, uh, and then he says there's a few ways you can get there. Uh, you can take the tunnels over uh, to the docks themselves, or you can just go up topside. Uh, topside's a bit risky, but uh, it's a straight shot uh, if you wish to go that route. And then once you're finished uh, and you've completed your objectives, head to the mall and uh, meet with our knights and paladins there. Uh, they can use some assistance uh, blockading the front doors to get back in. Alright. How well equipped are they, sir? Uh, he kind of looks at you and says, uh, well, there's uh, a few low-tier soldiers, some trainees possibly. Uh, 
we have seen a few wandering around in power armor, so prepare yourselves. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Well, if it wasn't a challenge, I might be worried. Alright, anyone else? Okay, uh, and with that, he kind of looks at you and says, Well, there's no time to waste. If you're going to make your way out to the auditorium, head straight west. Head out the doors to the back. If you're going to try to make it to the, the docks first, uh, go down. You can either go straight across and try to bolt across uh, the top side through the auditorium exit, or you can take the tunnels. Either way is your choice, but whatever you do, do so quickly. So, which way do we want to go? Take it one step at a time. So yeah, how? which way do you guys want to go? Because you have your options here. I thought we were going to the we were going to the front first anyway. We have two directions we can go. Yep, you can go straight through the front and try to secure the auditorium first, and then go from there to the docks, or you can ignore the auditorium, go to the tunnels, and try to secure the vertebrate dock uh, before you come back to the auditorium. We should probably try to make sure the auditorium doesn't fall. Yeah. I would say auditorium. That sounds like a good idea. I'm with you guys. All right. Uh, so you quickly head out uh, the western doors here. I'm going to change the view here. Give you a description as you can see some of it. Uh, as you exit the auditorium, it leads you out to an elevated platform uh, which connects the large office buildings to the west to the auditorium base itself. Uh, in the middle of the platform is a large rectangular building in the center. Uh, you see a sign mounted above the doorway which reads, Nuka-Cola Dark Beer Garden, opening spring 2078. Uh, directly in front of your position, you watch as uh, the Brotherhood military begin to scramble, moving into position, uh, reorganizing a bit after the large uh, mortar strike impacted the platform. Uh, from your position, you can tell that uh, they're easily, uh, you're easily a couple hundred feet off the ground. Uh, the radio to the south, uh, sitting on the uh, little watchtower here, uh, is sending out an audible alert from a DJ. Uh, who briefly comes on the radio before it falls silent. You hear him shout out, Brotherhood, if you're listening, this is DJ Steven Adam. And this is an SOS. Get over here now. I'm going to die. Please save me. And then the radio cuts out. Uh, you look around the area and you notice off to the north and the south, uh, Lake Michigan uh, surrounds the platform that you're standing on. Uh, the waves overlap the shore. Uh, while there's no immediate activity, everybody kind of prepares, uh, but then you start to notice as a dropship uh, begins to move into position, and several members of the Enclave begin to drop down uh, from ropes uh, attached to the side of it. And we're going to go ahead and have everybody roll initiative, please. All right, so. Twenty-two point fourteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the, uh, in case it's a tie, it's the tiebreaker. It's a dex tiebreaker. 
So many mins to click on and make them activate. Okay. Um, with that, uh, Beck, you are the first to notice the dropship coming into play. You will get to attack first. Beck just shouts out, ah, oh, hell, already. <laughs> And as you can kind of see, you have several things you can kind of uh, cover behind. Uh, you have the sandbags, you have a couple of walls, uh, things like that, that if you wanted to crouch behind them, you could easily take cover and kind of protect yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna use my um, cutting action dash and um, normal movement to get right there. Okay. So go ahead and make your movement. All right, and up ahead you see uh, roughly three uh, kind of lower end uh, geared individuals. Uh, two that look like some pretty tough uh, soldiers, and then obviously the two in power armor up ahead. Indeed. I'm going to take, pull out the 9mm and take a shot at, uh... Alright, go ahead and do it. Alright, so she let off the shot in the direction of the trainee. Uh, lands perfectly. Go ahead and give me some damage on that. Alright, you watch as he kind of stumbles a bit. He's still on his feet. Uh, looks a little uh, rough, uh, taking a nice little chunk of damage, but he is still standing. I'm gonna duck behind the barricade and send babes. Okay. Uh, and with that, uh, the uh, power armor soldier here is going to quickly move up uh, and is going to uh, fire off two shots uh, with his Gatling laser. Uh, he's going to make these two do some dex saves. Or agility saves, I should say. Uh, both of which fail, uh, so they're going to take a nice chunk of damage here, both of them. Alright, uh, the next one uh, up here to the north, uh, he's going to let off a couple of shots from his laser rifle at the one that just moved up. Uh, the first one is definitely going to hit, doing a nice chunk of damage to him, but the second one's going to miss. Paladin in the back is going to uh, move up and into position, also going to uh, fire off with his uh, Gatling laser in the direction of uh, the power armored guy here. He's going to take a bunch of damage too if he doesn't save. Man, he doesn't save. Uh, so yeah, he's going to take... 55... Okay, uh, and he's going to be set on fire as well. Uh, but he's now looking a bit rough, uh, he, taking a nice little chunk of damage uh, from that. Um, let's see, what else do we got? The knight down here. I know it's so much stuff going on. Uh, a couple of laser shots at him. Uh, the first one's going to hit, but the second one's going to miss. Lots of firing back here. Uh, just gonna quickly uh, click through them because they're gonna be easy ones to figure out. Uh, one of those is gonna hit. Uh, not gonna do much damage though. Um, so this one. Okay. Uh, so Ruckus, you're up with Nivor. Okay. Try and get some cover back there. 
Alright. That's all for you? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna start condensing the NPCs together. Uh, Ashton, you're up. Okay, is there any elevated position I could get to that still has cover? Uh, I mean, the initiate uh, down here is on top of a platform that you could climb up to, but he's already there, so it's gonna be a little tougher. Uh, your best bet for, uh, would probably be uh, trying to make your way as far away from everybody or on the other side of this barricade here and then trying to get uh, long snipes if that's what you're looking for. How tall is the wall over here? Uh, they stand up about four and a half foot tall, so you can kind of uh, easily just duck behind them whenever you're not uh, shooting. All right, so I want to dash over there and then duck behind the cover. Okay. All right, anything else? That's all I can do. All right. Uh, the last two of these guys are going to let off couple of shots. Uh, the first one is going to hit this, this guy here. Okay. Uh, Abigail, you're up. Well, she wants to be nowhere near the real firefight, so she's going to actually scurry down this way. I think she'll just run down here and take cover. Uh, she's going to have her pistol out, but she's trying to stay small and stay low. Yep. All righty. Uh, Beck, you're up. I think he was in the AMK. So nope. shoot something. He's not back. Okay. Yeah, we'll throw his uh, rolls up once he gets back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move our further. All right, these individuals, the uh, Enclave soldiers, they're gonna come up and uh, switching out for the laser rifle, attacking the Paladin here, he's gonna miss. Uh, this one's going to shoot in the direction of Ashton, who just kind of rushed up. Uh, you would have, uh, are, are you peeking or are you currently completely hiding? Well, I was ducking down since I couldn't do anything else. Okay, okay. Uh, so if you're ducked down, then he will not be able to shoot at you. But the uh, Esperant that is kind of peeking over and taking pot shots is going to take a couple of attacks, uh, both of which are going to hit, doing a nice chunk of damage to him. Um, the Paladin's turns, uh, they are going to immediately uh, start firing back with the Gatling laser once again. This one's not looking very good. Uh, he's going to take two fire, and then he's going to have to deck save. Uh, and he fails again, so he's going to take a big hit uh, from this uh, beta tune Gatling laser that this uh, paladin has. Um, he is looking pretty rough. The the plating of the power armor is hanging on but just barely. Uh, it's looking pretty beat up. Uh, with that, the knight's turn. They are going to attack as well. Uh, he's going to land both shots. And you're going to watch as the first soldier here in power armor. Uh, the power armor begins to kind of malfunction a bit. Uh, and you watch as... Uh, he immediately uh, the plating off the chest starts to fall off and a couple of the shots peek right through and drop this guy uh, on the ground and watch as the power armor kind of crumples below him 
Uh, to the north, the other one's going to fire off two shots at the other guy. Other knight. Uh, oh, the crit shots. Good. I uh, secured oh, 30, 32 damage. Uh, so there's them. Uh, trainees trying to get anywhere they can, but they're not finding anywhere to really hide. Uh, to get any good shots off. Uh, so as they kind of move forward, they're just kind of lobbing shots forward. Uh, that misses the knight. Uh, this one's going to hit. And this one is going to fire at the other one at the corner, and that one's going to hit too. Um... These guys are going to, there's two of them, yep. So there's one and two. Uh, they are also, this one's going to land his shot, but the other one misses. Okay, uh, me four, you're up. Alright, um, did I get cover, like, on yep. the side of the helicopter? You can, you can make your way over there and use that as cover. It's, yeah, it's a kind of, uh, run down old uh, helicopter. Alright, yeah. Here. I'll kinda hunker down and be as and, small as I can. Alright. Trying to wait and sneak up on people? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ashton, you're up. I want to pop out behind cover and hit this guy. Okay. With a steady aim shot. Alrighty. Uh, unfortunately, a 15 is not going to hit. Anything else? I'll duck down behind the cover. Alrighty. Uh, soldiers are going to start now moving into position as quickly as they can uh, wanting to uh, get in close as fast as possible uh, Abigail you're up is there any um, I see that the helicopters cover but is there any like open spots where we can shoot through getting closer to it or is it just a uh, big obstruction uh, the only way you could from your position is if yeah, maybe through here you can maybe hit this guy if you aim underneath uh, so you would be aiming like uh, hip height or lower to try to hit him okay makes sense um, I'll move her a little closer and then try and do that okay uh, if you do he is going to get kind of half cover because he is kind of hidden behind it so yeah it makes sense yeah. okay so she's going to take a shot alrighty uh that is not going to hit, however. So as you uh, quickly fire off your 10 millimeter round and shoot it in that direction, uh, he's uh, you're kind of obscured as you've let off the shot and it uh, goes just a little wide. All right, and then she's gonna duck back behind this cover here where she can stay safe now that that missed, probably drew attention. All right. Hopefully towards Mivor. <laughs> Uh, Beck, you're up. Alright, so it looks like one of our soldiers is dead. I no, that, that's an Enclave uh, soldier. Oh. What kind of weapons does he have on him? Uh, they have pretty similar weaponry to what you guys have right now. Uh, at least from what you've seen, uh, they're firing off laser rifles. Uh, and uh, they appear to have a uh, combat knife on their hip. No, like, swords or anything cool like that? No, nothing cool like that. Damn. <laughs> no one can really sneak attack, so I'm just gonna go for... All that right. guy and take a shot. Do it. So you 
let off the 10 millimeter round, shoots directly in his position and hits perfectly. Go ahead and give me some damage. All right. Anything else? No, she's just since you can't find anything else, we're just gonna duck back behind the little sandbags. Okay. There's only one of these power armored soldiers and he is going to come up to the wall and start to peek over uh, and is going to see Ashton kind of duck down behind uh, and is going to uh, fire off a couple of shots from his laser rifle. An 11 and a 12. Both of those miss. All right. So as uh, uh, laser rifle fires off two shots in Ashton's direction. Uh, he's able to quickly uh, move back and avoid being hit by it. Uh, seeing that happen, uh, the paladin down here is going to fire off three shots uh, using some of his uh, perks. The first one is a crit and is going to do massive damage. Uh, the second one is going to also hit, uh, but not do nearly as much. Uh, and you watch as this guy kind of staggers a little bit, uh, taking the shots. Uh, and you watch as uh, the plating on the right arm of his power armor begins to uh, start to fall off uh, and starts to expose a weakness in the power armor. Uh, the knights for... Brotherhood are going to continue to lay down cover fire, uh, firing in the direction of the tier uh, soldiers here in front. They've taken a nice chunk of damage too. Um, and then this one's going to fire off as well. Wow, they are critting like crazy right now. That is really good. Um, 20 uh, the soldier that's kind of leading the way is about to fall over as he continues to take these laser rifle shots. Uh, Trainee is again moving forward, uh, attempting to get into position here. Uh, this one, uh, seeing Abigail or uh, hearing the shots come from the side where Abigail was, uh, kind of looks around uh, trying to find where she went to. Uh, and is going to move around uh, and then get kind of spooked by uh, Mivor, who's standing right in front of him. Uh, and he's going to try to fire off a shot with the laser rifle. Does a 17 hit? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, and as it connects, it deals a total of 10 energy damage as the, the blast from the laser rifle hits you. Uh, but his turn is over, and it's not going to look good for him. Um, these guys are going to fire off their shots, two of them, uh, both of which are going to miss. Uh, Mivor, you're up. All right. Um, well, he shot first. He did. <laughs> He's going to die. Oh, no. I'm not going to have you roll a D100 for that. So as you swing forward <laughs> with the power the power fist, uh, you go to aim. You go to aim and try to hit him and it's like maybe just because he was so frightened like he like jolted backwards and as you swing down, he's like almost falling over on himself like trying to keep away. Uh, Ashton, you're up. So, is this guy still hanging over the fence? He is. Can I rip his laser rifle from his hands? Uh, you could give a... Athletics? i do a strength check. I can't apply my athletics to ripping something out of someone's hands? I mean, you're going against a guy in power armor. If you want to try it, you're more than welcome to, but you got to realize that his strength score is insane right now. Okay, you're probably right. <laughs> Can I shoot his weakened part? Uh, yeah, you could try to go for that. Uh, that will give you advantage if you're aiming for the exposed part of the uh, the armor, but to do so, I, I 
think so how I think I want to do this if you're going to aim for a very specific part uh, give me a uh, a luck roll so let's see how lucky you are at hitting where you're wanting to hit yeah so as you fire off uh, you are able to land this shot perfectly go ahead and give me the damage on it is it too late to say I activate my steady aim I'll give it to you. It's fine. So that's uh, plus four more. So 12. All right. And you watch as he stumbles backwards, uh, taking a nice shot into his right arm uh, where the uh, armor is exposed. Uh, the soldiers here uh, moving up and into position, getting a little closer. Uh, this one's going to get right up next to Mivor and is going to reach for his combat knife. Uh, another 17 to hit. Yep. Yeah, so as he brings the combat knife forward, it jabs into your side, uh, dealing 8 piercing damage. Uh, the one here in the middle, uh, continuing to fire off his shots uh, with the laser rifle. Uh, the first one's going to hit this guy and do a nice chunk, but the second one's going to miss. Abigail, you're up. Alright, so I've got a clean shot on the one to the right of Melvor, top mm -hmm. right, so I'm going to take a shot at him. Alrighty. Alright, and you fire off the shot, it lands perfectly. And you watch as this guy tumbles to the ground and is unmoving. Oh, hey, I got one. <laughs> Anything else? She ducks back into cover. <laughs> uh, Beck, you're up. I'm gonna see him. Um, see him that be more. It seems like he's reasonably good. Actually, is the one is the one the guy in the power over armor over by. Um, Ashton, what's in five feet of him or no? Uh, it's about ten feet. He's kind of, he also has a barrier that's between him and where Ashton is. Right. You did say he was hanging over it to try yeah. to shoot me. Yeah, he's kind of on top of that tr shooting over. Uh, uh, so he's kind of propped up a little bit, so you could easily get a shot off at him. I was wondering for the purposes of sneak attack. <laughs> mm, no, wouldn't be close enough for sneak attack. Boo. Yeah. I'm gonna. Can I get. Do I have a good enough rate on um, view on the one guy that's standing by me for still? Uh. I'll give it to you, yeah. Yep. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a shot at him. Alrighty. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Give me some damage on that as the 10 millimeter fires, landing perfectly, dealing a nice little chunk of damage. And he stumbles backwards, uh, kind of falls to one knee, quickly braces, uh, picks up his laser rifle, and gets ready to fire off another shot. Finish it off before, and I'm gonna do behind the wall. Do that thing. Uh, this guy's dead. This one only has so much left. Uh, he's going to quickly fire off another shot with the laser rifle, this time at Ashton, a 20 to hit. That does hit. And he's going to hit for 7 energy damage, so as he reaches over and fires at you and then quickly turns and tries to hit the uh, Aspirant to the side, the second shot misses the Aspirant, uh, but when it hits you, uh, you watch as it kind of bounces a little bit off of your uh, metal armor, your combat armor. Uh, dealing the seven energy damage. Uh, Paladin's uh, kind of tired of all of this shit, and he's gonna just give him hell. Uh, I need saves of all of these guys. Um, wow. Uh, the first one definitely did not save, uh, but the second two do save. They'll take half damage. Um, the 
front one though, who's gonna take full brunt of it, and then he's gonna be set on fire as well. Uh, he watches his armor starts to uh, become a little bit coated, uh, especially around the shoulder, uh, taking a nice chunk of damage. Uh, the knight, continuing to try to finish this off quickly, uh, fires off two at the soldiers peeking and lands both of them. Uh, Ashton, you watch as uh, the one directly in front of you uh, kind of falls over the uh, laser rifle that he's holding in his hand, drops to the ground directly in front of you, uh, and he is now unmoving. Um, the knight down here is going to uh, try to move and uh, get a better angle to help out Mivor here, uh, firing off two rounds at the guy beside him. Uh, only one, uh, nope, neither of them are going to hit, so as he fires off two shots from the laser rifle, neither connect. Uh, standing next to Mivor, still kind of intimidated, he wants nothing to do with this. He's going to quickly fire off his laser rifle, going to miss with a 10. <laughs> uh, the two up to the north are going to fire off uh, attempting to hit the knight up here uh, the 18 is going to hit so it's going to do a nice little chunk of damage uh, the other one misses though uh, aspirants are going to fire off there are two still left so one's going straight ahead uh, to the soldier the other one is going to also try to hit the soldier. Both are gonna hit. Uh, Mivor, you're up. Alright, now I'm Oops, sorry, guys. shake off the cobweb to punch that guy again. Punch him into next week. Holy crap, man. That's rough. That's I'm just rough. Throw my virtual dice on the window. <laughs> I'm gonna start over. All right, so as you uh, kind of lunge forward uh, with your uh, power fist, swing in the direction of him, unfortunately missing. Uh, Ashton, you're up. Well, first off, I'm going to pick up that laser rifle. Mm -hmm. And take a shot at this guy. The one over there by me for All right, go for it. Yeah, that hits. You fire off the laser rifle in the direction of the uh, lower gear trainee, and he takes a nice shot to the chest. Uh, stumbles around a little bit, stays to his feet, though, but is not looking good. Uh, this one is going to fire off two rounds. Uh, one in the direction of the Aspirant, and the other in the direction of Ash uh, Ashton, who did not duck after. Uh, but fortunately, neither are going to hit. Uh, you would still get a plus two because you're still uh, mostly behind cover anyways. Uh, but e even still, he rolled an eight, so it wasn't going to hit you anyway. Um, Abigail, you're up. Um, seeing that uh, Mivor is having so much trouble, she's going to use... Uh... Uh, inspirational speech and she's basically just going to you know yell you can do it big guy just keep swinging um, so he's got inspiration for the next 10 minutes all right so hearing uh, Abigail behind giving a bit of encouragement uh, feel a little more motivated and capable of laying out the guy in front of him uh, Beck you're up all right um hmm that, like most of these guys have those switchblades on them. Uh, they have uh, the same combat knife that you have. Oh, I got switchblade because. Oh yeah. I'm, right, because right. I'm not <laughs> being not, the rogue right. and all. Yep. I'm gonna st still assist. Take a shot at um, at the guy by me board, try and finish him off. Alrighty. Uh, yes, yeah, so you fire off the ten millimeter and 
land the shot perfectly. Uh, and you watch as he drops to the ground from the impact of the bullet hitting him. Uh, Ivor getting a, having a little bit of sigh of relief after missing a couple of shots here. Um, anything else? Um, I'm just going to duck back behind the sandbag skin. Alrighty. Uh, good job, guys. Good job, you're doing it. Hold the line. Uh, he's this paladin once again uh, going to land to them with the Gatling laser. So all three will need to make more saves here. Um, only one of them saves, and it was the one at the end. So nice damage here. Uh, and he also takes an additional four because he's on fire already. And then this one takes half. All right. Uh, the knights continuing their attacks as well. The shots here. The first one's going to connect perfectly. Watches the uh, trainee right over here. Uh, starts to stumble a bit as uh, the laser rifle blasts start to uh, do a considerable amount of damage to him. Uh, this one's going to rush up and get in the face of the uh, soldier here and jab at him twice with the combat knife. Uh, the first one misses, but the second one connects and drops this guy immediately. Uh, trainee in the back, uh, feeling a bit uh, outmanned here, is going to let off a shot, but... Oh, and that connects perfectly uh, to the knight in the back. Dealing a huge chunk of damage as he crits on it. Uh, uh, they're going to fire off two rounds here, both of which are going to connect. Uh, watches the one here uh, drops to the ground. The other one takes a small amount of damage, not nearly enough. Um, Ivor, you're up. Everything's dropping in front of you now. I'm helping. Um, um, the guy's dead. Uh, I'm gonna try and make my way back to the uh, car over here. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and, yep. That's it? Yep. Alright. Ashton, you're up. I'm going to take a shot at that guy. Alrighty. Yep, that hits. Oh, uh, yeah, so as you prop yourself up on top of this wall and fire off the shot, it lands true and knocks this guy to the ground immediately. And we're now out of combat. Thankfully, uh, all around you, the sound of kind of fighting and everything continues. It is complete chaos uh, through uh, the pier. Um, let me pull up my list here. Can I quickly hop over the wall and take all the ammo this guy had? Absolutely. Uh, and as you got kind of scavenged through uh, the remains of the individuals here, uh, you find if you wanted to take them or if you're capable, you could take a, a laser rifle or a combat knife if you need one. Uh, tons of ammo. I mean, we're talking, you know, uh, like 20 or 30 fusion cells. Uh, so you could easily stock up and have no issues there. Um, on the knight or the s soldier here, he's not a knight. Um, as you guys kind of search through, you do find a Gatling laser on the body of that one. Anybody able to use that? Mm -hmm. Certainly not old Beck. Old Beck no. is <laughs> he's not hardly I, jack shit. I think the one that could isn't here. 
I think. I mean, I probably could, but with the way I build, I'm yeah. not going to. Well, let's turn it over to one of the paladins, then they can make use out of it. And she's digging through the two pockets here as well. Alrighty. Is anything useful other than what you listed? Yep. Uh, do find on uh, the pockets of the soldier right here, uh, you do find that he has a small handful of caps on him, uh, 25 to be exact. Hey, booze money. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pocket that for later. All right. And uh, you're free to explore. There are some notable things uh, through the area here as you kind of look around on top of the platform. Uh, to your south, uh, you see an old kind of rusty uh, helicopter that looks like it's been sitting here from pre-war or uh, sometime just after. Uh, and off to the west, as I had mentioned before, you do find the uh, uh, Nuka-Cola Dark Beer Garden uh, to the far west. Um, do we know how far the radio tower was? Uh the radio tower is just past uh, where the docks would be. But we didn't have a mission to go that way yet, did we? Not yet, no. I hope the DJ's going to be okay. So what do these two guys up here have on them since... Uh, <laughs> not a lot of anything. They have laser rifles, so if you are capable of carrying a laser rifle you could grab one of those uh beyond that they just had some ammo and stuff they're a pretty low level uh, uh enclave military so they're not going to have a lot on them not even a stim pack these what guys are useless guy? <laughs> what about what the one this there? guy do, do you have anything else besides the ammo he did have one stim pack i'll take that Beck will collect like the, the the um the two laser rifles and whatever ammo they had and as he walks back here he's like that for me and just kinda drops it like next to like the barricade as he's walking back. Alright. Uh so yeah, anything else you guys wanna do here? Should we gonna move on to the next assignment? We'll turn to the paladin. Is like, I assume you guys, you gents, have things handled here. Uh, the paladin nods, uh, thanking you guys for coming out and helping uh, on such short notice, and uh, uh, asks what your uh, current objective is. Uh, and I offers, think writing to the vertebrate docks. Uh, mm -hmm. As you kind of mentioned that he uh, offers. Uh, the suggestion of uh, considering taking the tunnels uh, because it would be a little bit easier uh, and faster, kind of underground. The enclave won't, you won't run into any issues as you make your way that direction. Thank you for the tip. He kind of nods and continues gathering everybody together, uh, uh, getting them prepared and uh, ready for what is probably going to be another attack by the enclave in no time. Well, before we go, we were asked what was the uh, looks around for the familiar scribes. It's like, anyone got a big, got a stim pack for our big fella here? Looks like he took a couple shots. All for me, Vor, the stim pack I found. All right. So, Mivor, you get the stim pack uh, that Ashton picked up um, under items. Let's do. A heal 64. Yes, yeah, 64. Let's try to get some free stim pack, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, so we'll clear this. And yeah, so. That right now. Yeah. Nice little heal in there. All right. Uh, anything else? Anything you want to check out? Anything before you make your way to the tunnels? Has anything else come on the radio? 
The radio's currently completely silent. Hmm. Well, Beck will reload his his clip on his pistol. And, yeah, uh, I'll go through the reloading as well. So nothing else here. We should probably get to move on. You guys want to take the tunnels? Sounds like the best solution. Probably the safest way. Head down through the tunnels. I just gotta put your tokens here. This is gonna be tricky. Um, as you start to make your way over to the tunnels, you notice a bit of a problem. Mivor is a little big to fit inside of the tunnel. Uh, these five foot wide tunnels are probably not gonna be the best fit for him to make his way down there. Uh, you could opt to split the party and send Mivor up top and the rest of you head down below or you could all stay up top if you want we should probably find another way if he can't fit yeah splitting up doesn't seem like the best option oh come on split the party <laughs> I can hear the devil in my ear mm-hmm all right, so you're going to uh, stay up top and make your way over to the vertebrate docks. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. All right, so as you kind of make we your have way to. Up over, since you have to. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. But, I mean, you could just, you know, think small, but it's fine. We'll find another think way. Think small, fit into the five-foot opening. You're fine. All right, uh, so yeah, you make your way across. I'll drag you over to your new map. Uh, starting in the southeast here, I'll give you a description of what's going on. Um, so uh, as you kind of make your way over here, uh, you're not quite to this top level yet, uh, so I'm going to... I do a little theater of the mind for you. Uh, as you kind of make your way through the lower portions of what looks to be an old world parking garage, uh, several minutes pass and uh, you start to notice a few uh, uh, bits of uh, pre-war technology laying around. Some uh, old Corvegas and Omnis and a few old motorcycles and stuff. Uh, rusted and stripped from their core components. Uh, within this area, you also see uh, several troop transports, uh, armored vehicles, and things of that nature, most of which are also pre-war relics. Uh, to the southeast, uh, you see painted symbols that indicate stairwells uh, that lead up to the top of the garage, uh, and uh, some markings with the Brotherhood logo uh, leading you to believe that you're on your way towards the docks themselves. You guys gonna do anything? Do we notice any if there's any like other um any other brotherhood standing around or uh from where you're at no uh you hear or see nothing uh as i mentioned you do see some of the uh, uh old tanks and things of that nature uh, uh but you don't see any brotherhood members there it's a little too quiet for this area being with us being under attack and she's gonna move for cover over here okay uh you're actually not up there yet you're on the level just below this i just oh. don't have a map for that disregard that <laughs> she's she's just mm. swirly she's always looking for cover so right now is a kind should of, we start moving stealth right now is like a theater of the mind kind of open exploration thing uh think like you would think in Fallout. Uh, 
can easily explore, scavenge, do things of that nature if you so choose. Okay, do we see anything around? Uh, you see cars and motorcycles and two tanks. Tanks? Old pre-war tanks. On how, the strip, level. how stripped down do the pre-war tanks look? They, one of them looks pretty well together. Uh, even the the doors themselves are kind of locked uh, as you walk up and kind of grab onto the handles. Um, you could probably uh, try to pick the lock or uh, uh, allow Mivor to use his strength to try to break open the door if you wanted. Yeah, Abigail's going to use her lock pick by which she's going to look to Mivor and gesture to the door. Uh, uh, you can go ahead and give me a sleight of hand or lock picking check. Oh no, her lock pick is Mivor. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Mivor, you can go ahead and give me a strength check. <laughs> All right. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, yeah. See? This is why he's the lock That's pick. That's why he's the lock pick. So you watch as uh, Mivor grabs on to uh, that the big bulky metal handle of this door and he, as he starts to pull he strains a little bit at first and then all of a sudden the handle f just pops right off and he kind of goes flying back a little bit uh, and as he falls down the door kind of swings open and as it does you see what appears to be a mini nuke launcher inside jackpot Uh, she's she's gonna pull it out carefully and set it aside for them to look at, and then she's gonna like go into the tank and start rummaging around through the old tech. I'd also like to look. Okay, and as you kind of dig around inside, uh, you don't find any ammunition or anything like that. Uh, looks like the only thing that was remaining inside of this uh, was this one item. And Are there any corpses in there? No. It was sealed up and they left it behind. Uh, I'm going to send this to you guys. <laughs> Is there any uh, kind of like packs or anything? Anything interesting along the walls or anything like that uh aside from like you you'll see a couple of things of like really really old outdated rations but beyond that no no cigarettes mm, probably yeah i'll take that's, those that's gonna search the two cars Let okay just chill out uh, and as you kind of search, one of the cars uh, has a an old cooler inside of it. Looks like, uh, uh, and obviously a couple of uh, skeletal remains sitting in the driver and passenger seat. Uh, a couple were headed out for a picnic uh, when the bombs fell. Uh, the other car looks to be almost completely destroyed, like it's flipped over onto its roof. Uh, the wheels and everything have been taken off of it. It's been pretty well destroyed. Uh, what anything in the slip? Just gonna pop open the cooler. <laughs> in the cooler, you do find uh, some old moldy uh, hamburgers and mm -mm. three Nuka Colas. Nuka Colas. Jackpot. <laughs> Jackpot. I'm just gonna pull those out and be like, hey, it's like <laughs> Look what I found. And can I as per my um my feet scrounger mm -hmm. since whenever you're present when you when your party finds one or more meals, drinks, and snacks, you might find additional sustenance which will be kept and used by you personally, so can um, I have to roll mm -hmm. Yep. Go ahead and do the roll. Uh, yep. Let's pull up that because I haven't seen that. Or I don't remember that. Uh, 
that are the feet. Um, yeah, you, so yeah, as you're kind of looking through, uh, as you search through that car uh, where the uh, that one very uh, small cooler was, uh, you kind of dig around underneath of the chair uh, or the seat, and you do find an additional Nuka Cola underneath of the uh, passenger seat. Hey. Hey. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, all right, so as you uh, kind of gather yourselves, uh, finding some pretty nifty stuff, uh, you make your way to uh, the stairway to the southeast, and as you ascend the last set of stairs, uh, and you make your way through the door out onto a very large rooftop of this uh, uh, multi-story uh, parking garage, uh, you look around, uh, getting a much better view of the vault Tech Ferris wheel to the far west, uh, which is designed to look like a giant vault door from the outside. Uh, directly in front of you, an old broken helicopter, similar to the one outside of the auditorium. Uh, and to the north, a large fleet of vertebrates uh, ready for action. However, you notice you're not alone. Uh, scattered through the upper level of the garage are several soldiers uh, that uh, are being directed by a commanding officer uh, as they continue to clear out the docks, looking for ways to prepare the vertebrates for flight. You have currently not been spotted. I want to attempt to try to move forward stealthfully. Alrighty. They're trying to steal our stuff, and she's going to do the same. Alright. Okay, anybody else going? Alright. As you start to move into position. So this section in the middle here is uh, on a downward slope. So your upper level is where you're at. And then uh, kind of curves around over here. And then So which guy is the one down. giving orders? Uh, you're hearing the sound of uh, the commanding officer to the northwest. Uh, Mivor, not able to really stealth very well, kind of hangs back behind uh, as the rest of you start to move into position. Uh, you notice uh, two of the trainees, uh, or what you come to know as trainees uh, of the Enclave, are kind of walking around uh, after kind of clearing out the top level here. Uh, they're not really focused on the vertebrates themselves because they don't really have any... Uh, idea how to operate them. However, uh, they are still listening back for commands from the officer to the north. They could probably get the surprise on those two. And then, uh, actually, I'll switch play and watch this. Try to get as close as possible. All right. Yeah. I'll follow back, stopping behind co the nearest cover. I'm gonna get my switchblade out too, which I imagine will be about there. Okay. Do you want new stealth rolls? Yes. Uh, after thirty feet, you'll have to give me another stealth roll. So if you moved an additional, go ahead and give me that. Ashton making a little bit of noise, uh, but the uh, Enclave members kind of look around, not seeing him or anything, uh, and continue about their business, uh, continuing the direction. Uh, as a party, you're able to succeed. Uh, Mivor continuing to make a little more noise than you would like, uh, stays towards the back. These dice rolls today. All right, who wants to grab who? I'll get the further one. All right, I'll go try and get the closer one then. 
Okay. Sneak, sneak, uh, sneak. Yeah. So as you guys are moving into position, I'll have you guys go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, those super low rolls too. Nice. Nice, nice. So you get a round of surprise, and then we start combat beyond that. Uh, with that, Beck, you were first up. Uh, ten does not hit. I get advantage for surprise? Mm, is that's not how surprise works. Beck also snuck up on him so he'd be stealthy. Mm. Sure. Okay. We were sneaking. You were sneaking. Okay, anything else? I'll do it for my, for my surprise round. Alrighty. Ashton, you're up. Okay, can I get to this guy within my normal movement? Or? Uh, how much have you already moved? None this round. Mm, right, but are you trying to are you trying to remain quiet? Well, I'm just trying to. You move can up still to move it. around to him. Yeah. I mean, nothing's moving here. These are all you know, still vertebrates right now. And then I want to make a combat knife attack. Okay. I, yep, 15 hits. All right. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it for now. All right. Uh, Mivor, you're up. No, uh, so far you have remained undetected. All right, so I'm still gonna try and approach the rest of the party. Still. Okay. Oh. Oof. Ouch. Okay. Go ahead and move. And as you kind of make your way over here, uh, the rustling of your feet and uh, trying to remain stealthy, but as big and bulky as you are, you're kind of falling all over the place here and nudge into the vertebrae that kind of moves a little as you hit it. Uh, haven't drawn complete attention to yourselves, but it's getting close. Abigail, you're up. Um, she's gonna try and get her her knife into the guy and cover his mouth so he doesn't yell out. Alrighty. Uh, the 13 isn't gonna hit, uh, but go ahead and give me a sleight of hand to see if you can get your hand over his mouth to keep him quiet. Yeah, so you quickly grab onto the back of it, his, or onto the front of his face, uh, covering his mouth, uh, keeping him from being able to make any noise whatsoever. Uh, Beck, you are up. Oh, Beck is away. Uh, Beck is going to do the same thing that he just did. He's going to stab. Stabby stab stab. Uh, 14 does not hit. Um, Ashton, you're up. Okay, so no one's been alerted yet? Not yet. So yeah, I want to stab the same guy again. Okay. Uh, 21. Yeah, we'll shank him. Yeah, give me some damage. All right, uh, and sink the knife into him, uh, dealing a nice little chunk of damage. Uh, he is still standing, but he's looking a little beat up. 
Uh, me for you. After that, I'd like to put the knife away and take out my rifle. Okay. One in the middle. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna punch him. Punch him. Yeah, you do. <laughs> nice. So as everybody is kind of uh, gathered around and uh, getting towards the end of your stealthy little movement, Mivor walks up, hitting him with the power fist, doing a nice chunk of damage. Uh, Abigail, you're up. Uh, try and stab him again. Okay. Okay. Uh, once, cool again, strength, uh, <laughs> once again, <laughs> you bring in the, the switchblade to try to attack him, but you're unfortunately not able to hit him. Uh, kind of squirming around a bit, uh, attempting to uh, break free. Uh, the one to the north, however, because uh, he was not silenced or muffled in any way, uh, taking quite a few jabs from the knife, uh, quickly turns around, grabbing at his knife, and is going to uh, jab at Beck. Uh, oh, shit. A 22 to hit. It's definitely going to hit. Uh, dealing eight uh, piercing damage as he jabs the knife in, and then you hear him uh, shout out, More Brotherhood! And immediately people start to stir and look in that direction. Uh, this Bullshit. one... This one, unfortunately, cannot shout out, uh, but he's going to try to uh, uh, dex save against, or agility save against Abigail's strength to hold him, or keep her hand on his mouth. Uh, let's see, Abigail, give me that strength roll. Uh, just strength or athletics? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it wouldn't matter unless you're proficient in athletics. I am not. Okay, he rolled a 21. Uh, so as uh, as you're trying to hold your hand on his mouth, he uh, uses, uh, uses most of his action. Try to move out of the way, grabbing onto your arm, kind of forces himself out. Uh, and keeping uh, a bit of a, a distance or trying to get a little bit of distance between you and him. Uh, Beck, still not here? Nope. Okay. Uh, now that the combat has changed and we're now alerted or the others are now alerted, uh, Beck quickly uh, kind of puts the, the switchblade back into his pocket, reaches for his uh, 10 millimeter, takes a shot. Ooh, yeah. So as he fires off uh, the shot with the 10 millimeter, lands perfect. Uh, see how much damage this is gonna do. Oh, oh, oh wow. Who is he shooting? Uh, the one directly in front of him. Uh, and you watch as this guy starts to stumble a bit. That shot was huge. Kind of hits him right in the shoulder and pierces right through. He stumbles back a little bit, uh, trying to gain his balance, but he is just barely hanging on. Uh, Ashton, you're up. So, everyone's been alerted now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to shoot him. Alrighty. Yeah, that hits. Nice. All right, and as you uh, fire off this blast in the direction of him, he takes a big chunk of damage. And as he does, he actually kind of falls back and has to brace himself against the wall directly behind him uh, just to keep from falling over. Uh, he is not looking very good. Anything else? Uh, 
Uh, I guess no. Uh, Mivor, you're up. Alright. Um, standing. Um, Punch him again? Yeah, go ahead and give me that damage. So reach forward again, hitting him with the power fist. It lands perfectly, dealing a nice little chunk of damage. I'm really surprised that based on your size uh, and what should affect your strength score, it doesn't hit harder. To be honest. Uh, anything else? Uh, no. Alright, Abigail, you're up. These are some tough trainees. They are. All of these they guys really are tough. Are. Mm hmm They're Enclave soldiers. They're prepared for this. They got good armor and everything else. And just keep doing what I'm doing. Mm hmm Yeah, that one hits. And max damage. Nice. All right, so you jab the knife into him. Uh, he's looking a little beaten, and uh, a little bit of blood kind of trickles from his left side as the, uh, the tip of the switchblade pierces into uh, right through the cloth of his armor. Uh, this one uh, taking the combat knife, uh, holy shit, uh, swings in Ashton's direction and is going to crit. Uh, it's going to deal. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I am 100% sure about that. Unless you can okay. avoid it. I can't. Do you not believe me? <laughs> I do. Okay. You don't sound like you do. Uh, I'm just messing much, around. How much is the swing? <laughs> uh, it it hits for uh, 13 piercing damage. I'm going to interrupt it with cutting words. Nice. What does um, that do? So... Uh, when a creature that you can see within 60 feet of you makes an attack roll, an ability check, or damage roll, you can use your reaction to expend one of your inspirations, rolling the inspiration die. So, um, what was the attack roll on him? Uh, it was a 24 to, to hit. What's it was your AC? A crit. Crit. It was a crit 18. to hit. Oh, 24, 18. So I'd have to roll a 6, basically, to break that. Mm-hmm. Mm, I might just reduce your damage then. Um, she's going to say something colorful about his mother and throw him off on the swing, cut his damage down. Alrighty. Son nice. of a bitch. <laughs> I should have just went for nice. the, the attack. Uh, so you mitigate the entire crit portion of the damage so it only deals seven piercing damage instead. That's a lot better. That is. Yeah, better. yeah. I could have I could have stopped the damage all right, but that's mm -hmm. fine too. Uh, this one's going to turn and swipe at Abigail with the the knife. Uh, nine is not going to hit though. Uh, no, thankfully. Beck is not here still. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, Ten millimeter shot. A nine is not going to hit. Uh, Ashton, you're up. Okay. Okay, so which one is looking worse? Uh, the one directly to your north. He's okay, I'm just gonna shoot him dead. then. All right. Uh, unfortunately, a 13 is not gonna hit. Okay, then for my bonus action, I'd like to use second win. All right. Go ahead and get your health back. Um, you warrior up. Yep, 15 nope. connects. Nice, that's a good hit. So once again, Power Fist coming forward, landing perfectly. Uh, he starts to stagger backwards a little bit, uh, taking a huge hit from this Power Fist. Anything else? Uh, I haven't sold him, he's attacking Abigail, and I'm not going after him. Alright. Abigail, you're up. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll just keep going. Yeah. All right, anything else? Uh, uh, nope. Alrighty. Not much left for these guys. Uh, 
this one again, swiping uh, nine this time. Uh, Ashton is going to miss. The other one also going to swipe uh, 23 this time, however, to hit Abigail, uh, dealing yep. six piercing damage. Uh, Beck still not here. Nope. 10 millimeter shot. Jesus. Man, I am just not hitting anything. Uh, all right, Ashton, you're up. Okay. Let's go for the shot again. Yeah, that one hits. <laughs> and you blast this guy, like, a aiming, trying to, to get a nice, solid shot. You push it up right against his chest, like, just tired of dealing with him. And as you pull the trigger, uh, he immediately falls backwards and collapses to the ground after hitting his uh, back against the separator wall there. Is the separator wall big enough to hide behind? Uh, yeah, you can get uh, about half cover behind it. If you completely crouch down, you're still going to be a little bit exposed, so you'll see like three quarters cover. Uh, so you'll... Okay. Yeah, you, you won't get full cover or anything like that. Uh, I'm fine with that. Right. Little is better than nothing. Yeah. Uh, Mivor, you're up. Alright. Uh, more of the same? Yes. Nope. 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 Abigail? Uh, more of the same. Oh, All reliable. All reliable. Oh, yeah. My damage is going down by one every swing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, get to the top um, of the turn on. What's that? Oh, no, he's not wrong. Oh. Uh, staying with the tried and true, what's working right now, so many things right around him, he's going to take a swipe with his knife. Uh, 13 to hit me, Vor. Uh, no. Alright, so swiping in your direction does not hit. Uh... Um, okay, uh, and that's going to be his turn. Um, Beck, trying to be helpful in some way, turns and fires a shot at the trainee behind him. That definitely hits. Uh, he get does he get sneak attack on that too? He should, right? Yeah, there's someone. Yeah, there's feet. somebody with him. Yep. All right, and then. So yeah, he's going to get sneak attack and damage. And as the uh, 10, mil 10 millimeter shot fires, it lands perfect. And you watch as this guy drops to the ground and is unmoving. Uh, from around you guys where you, uh, where you currently stand, you can see that the officer and uh, what appears to be another trainee is coming around uh, to the northwest. And a soldier is making his way to the east. Uh, heading in your direction uh, the officer stops as he gets uh, uh, part of the way there uh, and reaches down and grabs his uh, he has a 10 millimeter pistol uh, that he pulls from his pocket uh, and is going to fire it I'm going to roll their initiative and then see where everybody is here no nope, which one's the officer uh, the one closest to you Holy shit, he crit on that roll. All right, uh, so this one uh, continuing to make his way around. He's going to get a little closer. Uh, this guy kind of stepping out and over is going to uh, attempt to take a shot at uh, Ashton, who has three quarters cover. Uh, so that's what, plus four to AC? I think it's plus five. Is it five? I can't remember. Uh, so yeah, uh, 15 to hit. Uh, 15 to hit total? Uh, yeah, he just, it's, he shoots at you for 15. Does it hit? No. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that misses, um, Beck's turn. Uh, he's going to crouch behind the wall as well. Uh, 
uh, and is going to uh, fire off a 10 millimeter shot at the officer. Uh, 19 is going to hit. Yeah. Uh, so he'll get the sneak attack and uh, his main damage. So again, uh, firing off a 10 millimeter shot, it flies in the direction of the officer, dealing a nice little chunk of damage to him. Uh, Ashton, you're up. I'd also like to take a shot at the officer. Oh, right. Shoot him. Uh, 12 just misses. So as you fire off the, the laser rifle and it flies in the direction of the officer, the officer is able to uh, crouch behind this wall, uh, uh, going to try to move into some cover here from his location. Uh, does not take any damage from it. Uh, Mivor, you got one sneaking around to the right and two directly ahead. All right. Um, I'm going to try and take a little bit of cover behind this vertebrae. Can I right. intercept in the other one? Okay. So yeah, quickly move up and over beside the vertebrae, waiting on uh, the soldier to come up. Are you going to hold an action or anything like that? Um. No. No. Okay. Uh, Abigail, you're up. Uh, she's going to move and find some cover as well, and then I think this guy's in range. Yeah, she's gonna fire on the one on the right. Alrighty. Firing at the officer. Uh, nine, Oof. unfortunately, is not gonna hit. It's a shame you yep, didn't have she's advantage. Just gonna, it's true. She's gonna <laughs> go back into cover. Alright, ducking, backing, behind cover, getting uh, three quarters cover right now as you uh, fire off your single 10 millimeter shot in the direction of the officer who is able to avoid taking any damage uh, however he's going to return fire as well uh, he's going to shoot his pistol uh, uh, Abigail uh, being the last one to hit him he fires off the shot in your direction does a 19 hit Yes, it does. All right, so you're going to take uh, six points of piercing damage and one fire damage, uh, and then for the next three rounds, you're going to be on fire. And you will continue to take that one tick of fire damage. So if you want to go ahead and take that off, you can as well. It's up to you. Uh... How many attacks does he get? He gets two. Uh, so then he will, uh, seeing Mivor hiding, is also going to fire off a shot in his direction. Uh, 20 to hit on you as well, Mivor. Yep. Uh, deals uh, five piercing and also one fire damage uh, for the next three rounds. This guy is going to try to rush up, uh, continuing to try to close the gap here uh, as eyes focused on Abigail. Uh, trainee over here, uh, he's going to rush up and try to get up close. Uh, not going to quite make it though. Uh, Bex turn, Bex going to open fire on the officer. Ten is not going to hit though. Uh, Ashton, you're up. Okay. I'm going to take a name at the guy that moved up. Okay. Activate my last steady aim. Okay. Uh, does that give you advantage? Or is it just uh, bonus damage? I can't remember what said it was. Uh, you, the attacks ignore half and three quarters cover. On each hit, the weapon deals additional damage. Okay, it is additional damage. 
damage. Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately, uh, 10 is not. Good. I'll use my action surge to a shoot again. Alrighty. Yeah, 18 hits, so. Alright. Plus. 12. Alright, he kind of staggers as he runs forward. Uh, this guy looks already kind of uh, beaten up a little bit uh, from the encounters they've had. Uh, he's already not looking very good as he approaches. Uh, oh, Mivor, you're up. Alright. Um, uh, one session, I'm gonna flank a rage as I approach. I'm gonna try and flank us. Alright, so you're going into a rage then. Yeah, that hits. Plus two. Yeah. Alrighty. Quickly run in again, swinging with the power fist, making a nice solid shot. Uh, kind of staggers him a little bit as he's running forward, uh, dealing a nice little bit of damage. Abigail, you're up. Um, action to put myself out while I'm on fire. Okay. Um, yeah, she's gonna like run for cover and, and pat herself out. Alrighty. Uh, yep, yeah, you can definitely do that. Uh, still take that one for the round, right? Yeah, correct. It's okay, mark the round. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and oh, also, did you take your one fire damage, uh, Mibor? From I'm last sorry, time, yours. yes. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, Mibor, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, yeah. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah. anything else? Nope, just. Hiding. Hiding. Uh, all right. It is the officer's turn, and he's now going to try to take a shot at Beck, who is hiding. Uh, Beck does have three quarters cover, uh, so he's going to get a plus to his AC. Uh, holy shit. Uh, 24. So, what is your AC, Beck? 15. <laughs> Damn it. Uh,. So you're going to take seven piercing. It was not a crit, though. So you're going to take seven piercing and one fire damage. Uh, and then for the next three rounds, you're going to take an additional one tick of fire damage every round. Unless you opt to put it out. Sorry, how much is that again? Uh, eight total damage. Uh, seven piercing, one fire. Uh, guy over here... Uh, similar to his uh, other uh, comrade over on the far side there, he's already taken a nice little beating. Uh, he's going to uh, attempt to uh, quickly back up uh, as he's uh, firing in the direction of Mivor. Uh, does a 15 hit? Yes. It does? Holy shit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, as... Uh, as he fires, uh, shoots in uh, Mivor's direction with the laser rifle, dealing 10 energy damage. I didn't think that would hit. Uh, Trainee over here is going to finish closing the gap and is going to jab forward with his combat knife. Uh, 11 to hit? That does not hit. Alright. Uh, Beck, you're up. Uh, take one fire damage. Start your turn. Oh, he left. Again. Okay. okay. Uh, then he's going to again fire with the pistol at the officer. Uh, but 12 is not going to do it. Ashton, you're up. Alright. Take the shot at the guy next to me. Okay. Whoa. Wowie. Uh, yeah, 21 hits, so. Alright. Do you get bonus? No, because that's only for one turn, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, and as that lands, you watch as this guy staggers backwards, uh, almost falling uh, as he takes his shot, uh, trying to brace himself, grabbing on to the, the light pole uh, at the corner of this stand here, trying to keep himself up. He is almost done for. Uh, Mivor, you're up. Unfortunately, a 12 is not going to be enough to hit him. Uh, so you swing forward uh, with the power fist, trying to bring it down on top of him. And unfortunately, he is able to sidestep and keep from getting hit. Alright, I'm um, also going to try and pat my stuff out of the store. But... Okay. Alright. And yep, we can. I would actually. I did take damage. You would have to do so as your action, and it's going to end on your next turn, anyways. Alright. So, I mean, just you could just let it go, take the extra tick of damage, and it'd be fine. That would be the best way to handle that because you've already attacked, so I can't give you another action to do so. Alright. Uh, Abigail, you're. Uh, she's going to come out of cover then, and she's going to take a shot at this guy over here. Alrighty. Yes, you fire off the 10 millimeter in his direction, and it lands perfectly. You watch as, uh, as he was holding on to this post trying to keep his balance. Uh, you're able to zero in on a nice shot, and as it hits, you watch as he crumples to the ground, uh, his hand kind of grabbing onto the pole as he falls over and hits the ground. And then she hides again. And hiding. Uh, officer again, uh, attempting, uh, kind of stepping out a little bit, trying to get line up a better shot. Uh, this time at Ashton, uh, 13, however, is not going to be enough as the bullet comes flying by Ashton and he remains behind uh, three quarters cover. Uh, soldier over here is going to make his uh, attack uh, 18 to hit on Mivor is going to connect uh, dealing seven energy damage a really low roll uh, as he connects on the uh, laser rifle shot. Is back back yet? Or no? I'm guessing no. Uh, okay. Uh, 10 millimeter shot at the officer. Hey, that hits. Uh, and then he's going to... Wait. Doesn't get sneak attack on that one. Sorry. Uh, but he does take a nice little hit. Uh, staggers him a little bit as uh, the shot just lands perfectly. Uh, clipping him in his right shoulder as he kind of stumbles, uh, trying to stay to his feet. Uh, Ashton, you're up. I'd like to take a shot at this officer. Do it. Uh, Fifteen hits. Oh, nice. Anything else? I don't think I can do anything else. Okay. Uh, so as uh, the laser rifle, you line it up and perfectly drill this guy. Uh, and he staggers and uh, falls to one knee, uh, uh, attempting to kind of regain his composure. It's just not, almost knocked the wind out of him, uh, landing almost so perfectly on him. Uh, Mivor, you're up. does not hit. Okay. Abigail, you're up. Man, that's rough. You've been missing a lot of shots tonight. Just make him wait. <laughs> scaring him. scaring him. She's going to move up over here. Uh, staying low so she has cover against the officer and then fire at the enemy who was fighting. Alrighty. Uh, 16 hits. Nice. And then she's gonna stay low. Right, and as 
you. Uh, fire off the 10 millimeter in the direction of the soldier. The soldier takes the shot, uh, kind of clips his leg a little bit, and uh, quickly reaches down, grabbing onto it, and refocuses, pulling the laser rifle back up and prepares for his next attack. Uh, the officer, un not really seeing anything that he can really hit, uh, sees Mivor standing way over there, is going to attempt to try to hit him again. Uh, with rude. the pistol. Very rude. It's at disadvantage then, right? Uh, Based off distance. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, this pistol is 5150, so it would be a disadvantage. Uh, yeah, because 50 is here. So yep, I would be at disadvantage of 14 to hit. It still hits? Oh, come on. <laughs> what is your AC? Man. 14. Uh, so the bullet flying across the, the map uh, still manages to clip you and somehow does more damage now than it has done this entire fight dealing eight piercing and three fire damage and it will do three fire damage every turn and that ac is dumb <laughs> This, this soldier is going to attempt to shoot once again at um, Evor because that's his only real threat right now is directly in front of him. But it's a seven and he misses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Uh, Beck's going to try to shoot. Uh, officer, 20 hits. Uh, dealing 14 and that actually drops the officer to the ground and he is unmoving as the 10 millimeter shot rings true and goes right through the chest, uh, sending him to the ground. Ashton, you're up. All right, I'm gonna move 30 feet and then take a shot at this guy. Uh, 13 does not hit. Me, or you're up. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to pump myself up. Fire. Okay. Alright. Abigail, you're up. She's gonna keep firing to help. Help me, Val. Or me, Boar. Meet me. That's your name, now. Deal with it. You're now Meet Me. <laughs> it's no longer the bobby pin. Mm. Well, he's the lockpick when we need the lockpick. He was the lockpick. Uh, yeah, that definitely does solid damage. And as the bullet sinks in, uh, shooting through the kneecap, because you can't aim any higher. Uh, because Mivor's kind of in the way, you watch as it drops this guy to the ground, uh, ultimately killing him from his injuries. And you are now out of combat. Thankfully. That was kind of terrifying. It was more than a little terrifying. <laughs> I'm going to light a cigarette. <laughs> I am done. That does it. Need, need a break. Need a break. Uh, all right. So let's see what we got here. Uh, so you see three sections of vertebrates. Uh, looks as though they were trying to get some of them prepared. Uh, trying to get them ready for flight. Uh, the... Uh, the soldier that was fighting with Mivor, uh, whenever you first approached, was kind of digging through one of the vertebrates uh, as if he was looking for something. Uh, so somewhere in the center area was where he was looking. Uh, other than that, uh, you're free to explore and uh, see what you can find.
Can we take a break first? Uh, yeah, five minutes. Hey, no, no, uh, a rest. Sorry. Oh, I was like, oh, we can we can take a five minute break. That's fine. No, no, need to rest. Abigail is hurting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and as so, what we'll do, uh, we'll have you take time to secure the vertebrates, uh, uh going around, spending time to make sure each one of them are kind of locked down and uh, preventing uh, the enclave from taking them and kind of search the area while you're doing so and it's during that time that you'll be getting uh, a short rest all right uh so you guys know um she has an ability friendly banter so when we're taking a short rest um you know just we're playing out that you know she's chit-chatting keeping everybody's spirits up so it's an extra d6 when you guys are rolling your uh regained hit die That's the extent of my doctoring without having to do uh, medicine checks. Because she's a mechanic, so she's just going to hit you with the wrench anyways. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. He is back at full health. All right, and while you guys are uh, taking care of all of that stuff, I'm going to step away for just a minute. We'll take a quick five-minute break. Be right back, guys. Uh, okay, dope. And when we continue, we will go through what should be the conclusion of uh, this one shot. So stick around. I'll be right back. I'm back. Never left. Never. What's happening? Nope, never left. Nothing's happening. Uh, you guys are taking your short rest, and... I will offer a cigarette to everyone. And you are free to explore and look around, if you so choose and loot all um, of that stuff yeah abigail's gonna be searching the one specifically that they uh were getting ready because likely they started loading supplies into those ones if they figure out which ones are flight capable okay um i'd like to search one of the other ones see if i can find anything of use okay um so uh, as you guys start up at the top uh begin searching the uh, vertebrates uh, which section the section you're at right now uh, there's not much uh, by way of loot on any of this stuff 
but as you kind of dig around, you are able to see that uh, these were currently out of commission. Uh, so you wouldn't have to really do anything to secure them because uh, they're not going to fly anywhere anyway. Uh, kind of walking by, uh, seeing the Brotherhood members lying on the ground, uh, notice... Do, what's that? Do any of them have like a two-way radio so that we can tell them that we secured the vertebrate docks? Uh, yeah, uh, the one uh, closest to Mivor would have one. Uh, you would be able to kind of communicate back. Uh, not really anything on any of the bodies of the Enclave members. Uh, however, uh, at least the, the ones that you're standing next to here, uh, there are dog tags and stuff on the Brotherhood members, though. I'll start collecting those. Um, Abigail, your curiosity of uh, wanting to uh, search the vertebrate, uh, the one over here uh, that the one soldier was taking a look at, as you kind of dig around inside of it, uh, you look back in the back section, kind of leaned up against the, the sidewall, you see a very strange looking sniper rifle and a box of ammo sitting next to it. Hey Beck, wanna take a look at this? Sure. Oh, up on there. And she gestures over to the rifle. And that is what you have. Dang. Let's change our view, shall we? This looks like it has Ashley's name written all over it. Yeah. Oh, I misunderstood the <laughs> icons there. I saw the guy with the rifle and assumed the guy with the rifle on his back was the <laughs> sniper. Yeah. Ashton, that's... you want to take a look at this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that. Did they uh did they manage to get this one working? Uh that one was not working. However, the one up by uh where the officer was up there, uh he was digging around in it uh because he believed that one was prepared and ready to go. Uh the doors are unlocked and you can kind of dig around inside and as you look you're not really seeing anything uh, but as I mentioned it can be tagged uh, and uh, kind of take it out of uh, commission for now uh, to keep somebody from stealing it yeah she's gonna make sure that these are all disabled mm -hmm. uh, a fixable disabled but disabled enough that if they wanted to get it running it would take some time to repair all right All right. Uh, Did we already check all the all the bodies? Not all of them. You kind of looked over the ones to the south, uh, but you haven't checked that one. Abigail. Yeah, I'll start poking over the officer. Did you poke over the officer. You... I'd have gone around to all the Brotherhood soldiers and started searching, taking their dog tags. Alrighty, uh, and that's no problem. Yeah, as you gather all of those up, uh, kind of uh, remembering that's a, a thing the Brotherhood does, uh, take the dog tags back. Uh, but let's see, we got... That's just something I know to do. Mm -hmm. um, as you're looking over the body of the fallen officer, you find this weapon. Looks nice. Anyone need a? Was anyone else using a ten millimeter? Beck. Beck is. 
<laughs> he called it. Mr. AFK. Yeah, he's calling dibs, but he's always gone. Mm -hmm. I might just pocket it. <laughs> I... Hey, he can have it. I forgot. Do I get my, uh... What's it called? Uh, steady aim back on short rests or long rests? Let's look. Steady aim, you get that back. Uh, you regain all of them when you finish a short or long rest. Sweet. Yeah. So was there a 308 ammo in the vertebrate as well? Mm-hmm. There was a full box of it. All right. Um, on that, that pretty much covers everything. As I mentioned, there was only the one vertebrate that was capable of flying, or that was prepared for flight. Uh, all the others look like they're in some state of disrepair or have already been locked out. And uh, the uh, initiates were able to get in and try to lock them down. Uh, unfortunately, they couldn't get to the last one before the officer and the uh, other Enclave members showed up, uh, kind of wreaking havoc on the area. So you said that I found a two-way radio? You did? I'd like to report and tell them that the initiates here died. Okay. And uh, that we secured it from the Enclave. All right, and as you kind of report back, uh, uh, one of the... Uh, one of the what you believe to be a, a paladin comes across uh, letting you know uh, that they will immediately send additional troops to uh, continue to keep the uh, the, the dock secure uh, and uh, that your immediate instructions are to head to the mall uh, and help to continue to push the Brotherhood out or the Enclave out I'm sorry we're switching sides. We're switching sides. You're now on the Enclave side. Yay. They do have better armor. Let's switch sides. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're heading to the mall next. Okay. Um, yeah, sounds like we should get moving. Okay. And I'm just dropping you guys in. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, from where you are located... Uh, as you kind of make your way along the uh, uh, the southern side of the building, uh, heading west, uh, you travel along the outside of the building, and it's mostly uneventful. Uh, you watch kind of off in the distance as a few drop troop uh, drop ships begin to deploy troops and stuff uh, west of the the far edge of the building itself. Uh, to your right, you do notice uh, several of the uh, entryways and stuff like that have been kind of smashed open uh, but the doors uh, directly behind are directly behind the doors uh, a steel uh, like a grating has dropped down and prevents entry into the side uh, you do however see a, uh, a terminal that you could go up to and interact with Abigail, that seems like your jurisdiction. Abigail. Sorry, I spaced. What happened? Uh, so you guys were making your way along the southern end of the building, and you come across to, uh, what looks to be an entryway that's currently uh, secured. Uh, by a metal grating that's directly behind what what used to be glass doors. Uh, to the far right side of it is a computer terminal. Oh, yeah, this is definitely my handiwork. Um, so she's going to uh, start tinkering around with it and boot in. Okay. Um, and as you kind of dig around, uh, go ahead and give me a hacking check. Uh, yep, that's enough. So as you uh, kind of tinker around with the... Uh, uh, terminal here you're able to easily secure the password uh, and find your way uh, you hear an unlocking sound and the steel grating starts to roll up and exposes 
uh, kind of an open section where you are now dropped into uh, what appears to be the mall section of this uh, uh, part of the Navy Pier. Uh, directly ahead, let me go back to my other page here. Uh, as you approach uh, from, yeah, as you enter uh, to your north and to the east, uh, you see there are several uh, Brotherhood uh, initiates already in place. Uh, one is guarding a hallway that leads north, and then off to the far east, one stands what outside of what appears to be the Galaxy News Radio studio room. Oh, he said he was in trouble. We should go check on him. Was there someone we were supposed to report into once we got here? Uh, you are going to be reporting into the paladins, so any of the paladins here would kind of guide you to tell you what to do. Uh, we have we have time to check on him, though, right? He was saying yeah. he needed. City say you needed help, you should go see. And she's gonna just go ahead and take that initiative and go. Okay. All right, and yeah, as you start to approach uh, the entryway, uh, there's another one of those metal doorways kind of blocks off, uh, protecting the inside of the, the building from would be attackers. Uh, which was previously the exposed outside edge of the uh, GNR recording studio. Uh, from within, uh, you see a frantic early 30s man, somewhat crazy hair and sunglasses, standing behind the station's computer terminal. Uh, as you approach, the man takes a bit of a deep breath, uh, realizing once again that you're Enclave and you're not here to hurt him. Uh, as you start to approach, uh, the Brotherhood Paladin uh, begins to uh, step out, uh, kind of guarding the entryway to the, the stairs below. Oh, Paladin, good. we were told to report in here. Uh, and as you uh, kind of speak up, the Paladin nods and uh, says, yes, uh, we are able to secure GNR. Everything seems to be okay here. Uh, however, we're going to have a little bit of a trouble uh, with uh, with the, the front entry. I believe the Enclave is going to be pushing through there any moment now. Uh, and Abigail, as you kind of approach, uh, the uh, individual kind of walks around the, the front and uh, walks up to you and says, wow, you guys are really on it today. Uh, I mean, I don't think we've met, but I'm Stephen Adam. Oh, yeah, big fan. Watch your show all the time. Glad to see you're not dead. Uh, he nods and says, well, if anything, if any of my reports are any indication of what's going to happen, we may be in a little bit more trouble than I thought. There's something big coming to that western entryway. Like super mutant big, death claw big. He kind of scratches his head and says, I haven't gotten any of the big details. Legion? But... <laughs> uh, he just kind of uh, shakes his head and says, I don't, I don't have the full details of everything that's going on, but I do know that uh, they did roll in a caravan, uh, and it is not looking good for us up front. And as you guys kind of uh, discuss what is going on, he uh, stops and he says, Wait, are, are you the detachment that was uh, sent out here from, uh, from the auditorium? Yes. He kind of smiles and he's like, well, you'll be happy to know that because of your actions, uh, we were able to completely secure the auditorium. Fortunately, had no loss of lives there. Uh, but as, uh, as you guys probably know, 
the tunnels weren't secure. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to uh, prevent uh, some of the incoming uh, spies that were hanging out in the lower parts of the region uh, from entering into our area. Uh, but they quickly fell to our paladins who were awaiting inside. So thankfully, uh, all is well in that department. Uh, I did hear reports that they are sending additional troops as well to secure the vertebrate pad. And kind of looks at you guys. Uh, yeah, I think that's us too, isn't it? She looks to the others. We secured the vertebrate pad. Uh, he nods and he's like, that's, that's good to hear. Uh, had they gotten their hands on any of our our birds we well, might be in a bit of trouble here and as he continues to say that uh, and kind of uh, trying to reinforce everything that has happened uh, you start to hear a call uh, Ashton on your radio and uh, Steven back in the, the station uh, starts to hear a call that uh, there's movement outside of the front gates of the Navy Pier and uh, with that Ashton quickly waves you on and says well, then perhaps now is not the time that we need to be having this discussion. You need to go and secure this place now, or we're going to lose this. Okay, let's move. And as you do, uh, Stephen quickly turns back, heads back over to the radio station. You hear him begin to jammer on a bit on the radio, and uh, then starts yes. spreading the word of your achievements here, and then sending out word that additional help is going to be needed at the front gates. Uh, Abigail hasn't left yet, but she kind of peeks through the door and she's like, oh, hey, can you play uh, Butcher Pete? And she looks very hopeful. He looks at you and says, well, I don't have Butcher Pete, but I do have something that's right up your alley. Okay. Oh, then she heads off to catch up with the others. All right. So you quickly start making your way uh, through the hallways here. Uh, this should have been blocked off. You should see this. Hold on. That. No. Because that's completely black now. Yep, everything's darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we won't do that then. Uh, yeah, so the dark sections and the outer walls and stuff, those are all uh, blocked off shops and things of that nature as you kind of move forward. Uh, uh, the main entryway here, uh, as you uh, start to make your way uh, to the west, uh, you hear, uh, as you, Ashton, make it about there, uh, you hear the sound of uh, gunshots uh, off at the far side uh, that appear to start to die down a little bit the closer you get. Uh, as you approach, however, uh, you make your way through a plaza, you do uh, see one enclave individual uh, kind of peeking around the corner, looking in the direction of... Uh, the group up ahead uh, who has not spotted you. This guy? Mm -hmm. Can I take a shot at him? Sure. With my key aim, steady aim. Okay. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. Uh, so you let off the a shot. One and a two. Man, uh, you let off the shot, and uh, it is suppressed. It is. So uh, as you fire off the round, uh, it flies behind him, hitting the the wall over here. Doesn't make much noise uh, and doesn't draw his attention, uh, but it is nowhere close to even hitting him. These dice are not liking me. They are not. What are the rest of you guys doing? I'll just ready in action, wait for the others, but if he looks like he's going to do anything, I'll take another shot. Okay. Um, 
Abigail's just moving up and she's going to stay hidden. So where, where are we at currently? The mall. Yeah, you're currently at the mall making your way west, uh, heading towards the main entryway. Well, which way did we come from? Uh, southeast. Over here? Mm-hmm. I see a named character. Uh, you're going... where are you? You're over here. So you're heading west. Um, I'll make my way up to where um, Sebastian is. Okay. I'm going to assume I see the uh, guy. Is this coming out of my radio? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm taking the shot then. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah, that definitely hits. The power of music. <laughs> Inspired. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Nope. I just shot the guy. <laughs> so she quickly hearing the the music begin to play over the radio and the DJ's voice quickly coming across you quickly line up a shot and let it ring out and knocks this guy off of his position uh, he quickly turns to you and pull draws his uh, laser rifle can I take a shot too real quick mm, no Sorry. not on this one initiative uh, then initiative please Ooh. That roll, though. Okay. Uh, should be everybody, right? Yeah. All right. All right, Ashton, you are up. Another shot. All right, do it. Uh, yep, that hits. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else? Nope. All right. So you look at this guy. The first one lands perfect. You get ready to line up the second one. It drills him as well. He stumbles. He is almost completely out of it, uh, trying to regain consciousness as he kind of falls and leans up against the wall here. Abigail, it is your turn. What are these here? Uh, they're kind of uh, like barricades or uh, uh, crates. All right, she's going to get low behind one and fire. Okay. Uh, yep, that hits. Eight piercing damage. Okay. Uh, are you using... Did you give that gun to Beck or are you using it? Yeah, Beck's, Beck's got the nice gun. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's drop this in, and I'm going to change that to this. Uh, so yeah, uh, he's now going to fire off his laser rifle in Abigail's direction, a 16 to hit. Abigail? Sorry, I forgot I switched the talk. I'm going to use my cutting words to try and cut that down. Okay. She's going to say, hey, this song's for us, not for you. <laughs> so, uh, cutting his shot down to an 11. Five, which the, does not hit. The, okay. Yeah, so he fires off the laser rifle and you're able to quickly avoid it after getting into his head a little bit. Uh, Mivor, you're up. That it? Yep. 
Yeah. Back you up. Is he gone again? No, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were gone. I mean, I had some stuff to finish taking care of, but I'm actually good now for the rest of the session. Um, right. I'm just going to take my shot with my awesome new pistol. Alrighty. Uh, 13 does not hit. Old balls. Old balls. Ashton, you're up. Kill shot's yours. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, it's yours. Yep, so three shots in a row, you drill this guy and drop him to the ground. Uh, as Can I the, shoot him through the eye? Yeah, so as the... Uh, where's it at? I don't see it. Oh, I'm getting sad because I can't find that rifle. I had a hunting rifle. Now I'll use this. Fires off. Uh, need a silenced one. Uh, lands perfectly, dropping him to the ground. Uh, notice that uh, kind of around the corner, uh, all the Brotherhood are prepared, all looking the opposite direction of where you were at, though, as they're preparing and looking forward towards the front gates. Did any of them hear any of our shots? Uh, they heard the laser rifle fire, uh, at which point uh, one of the initiative uh, or initiates turned and looked in your direction uh, and had lined up a shot but wasn't able to fire it before the, uh, before the guy fell because of your shot. I'm going to reload. Okay. So I'll reload my single bullet. Uh, did we get any other any extra eight mil ammo? No. Eight mil. Ten, ten mil. mil sorry. Ten mil? No. Yes. Sir. I want to search this guy. Oh. Yeah, I'm reloading as well. All right. Uh, and as you guys kind of reload and move forward. Uh, as you start to approach, uh, you see this kind of oddly shaped room up ahead at, in, in the hall here. Uh, you head west. Uh, experiences tell you this is a supply cart uh, that the Brotherhood would use, uh, complete with most ammo and things of that nature that you would normally find. As I enter, do I see any raised parts, like a balcony or anything I could get to? No, not in this situation, or not where you're at, no. So, where's uh, the main door that they're coming in from? So, this right here is your supply cart. Uh, you have a paladin over here that you could talk to if you wanted, and then they're coming from the far west over here. Is there, in our supplies, are there any uh, explosives? Mm -hmm. So as you dig around inside of this cart, you do find one that catches your eye. A mini nuke. Oh. oh, well. Really wants us to test this mini nuke. <laughs> uh, you also find... Uh, two boxes of 10 millimeter ammo uh, and four fusion cells uh, that you could use. Toss one of the boxes over to Beck and uh, I'm going to take up the mini nuke and uh, be like, I have a crazy idea. Uh, Ashton, as you were over by the paladin over here, uh, kind of uh, speaks to you and uh, lets you know that uh, there's incoming uh, and if you have anybody that's uh, prepared and wants to uh, kind of help out a little bit they have an empty set of uh, power armor ready to use is it super mutant sized it is not uh, 
But, however, as you as you ask that, uh, he kind of grins and says, No, but I have something even better for that. And he reaches over, and there's this massive uh, modified super sledge uh, directly beside him, and he kind of uh, drags it over uh, and says, I'm pretty sure your friend could use this. Hey, Mivor, Christmas came early for you. This is what you see. Hey, that looks familiar. <laughs> the uh, sniper rifle should look familiar too. That's from uh, Heroes of the Storm. Oh, I don't I think totally, I played that. Totally didn't connect it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Where'd that fancy weapon go? I want to look again. So, uh, Mivor now has a big fancy hammer. Uh, Beck has a pistol that does nice little damage and catches people on fire. Uh, Ashton has oh, yeah. a nice little sniper rifle. And Abigail's holding on to a mini nuke launcher. And there's an empty set of X01 power armor for somebody. <laughs> Don't jump at it at once. I'm just a scribe. So who can and you who can and can't use power armor? All of you can use power armor except Mivor because of his size. I probably. am not. I am not martially trained, so probably don't give it you to are, me. You are not, but because your so brotherhood, else is you get. You, because your Brotherhood of Steel, every Brotherhood of Steel member would get power armor training if they can fit in it. So you would be able to wear it. If they don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me the roll back. I mean, I'm a sniper. I don't do close combat or anything. Yeah. You don't find anything, though. I was more waiting to see if Beck wanted it, but I'll take it. No, you're fine. Of... No, it says roll 1d4, minus 1 for every type of ammunition found once you carry that weapon. You're getting that much ammo, so I assume I get three more rounds of 10. Oh, okay, yep, that's fine. Okay, uh, quick decisions. Who's doing what? I'm oh. getting in the power armor. All right, uh, so... Uh, so, the sniper rifle only has 90 range. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take cover near this paladin. Okay. Um, so is is there a way to drag the weapon stuff over, or do I need to manually input it? Uh, you can copy and paste it. There's the the section that says mods. If you copy and paste all that, you create an item in your inventory and paste that. You use a little drop down and paste it in the thing that says mods it will auto-create the weapon for you when you equip it and set it to has attack. So, here, let me show you. So if you go down here at the bottom and then you open this up, click has attack, and then you name it. So... And then your mods, your prop and mods and your weight would be on that card I gave you. So as you open that up, your weight is 31 pounds. So it'd go there. Uh, prop. And you just copy and paste out of those boxes and put it in there. So that would go there. And then that goes there. And then now, all of that detail is already added into your uh, thing up here. So all of it's there. Oh, neat. Yeah. That's okay. why I made it like that, because since we can't do drag and drop compendium, I at least could do that. So you guys could just copy and paste. Cool. Now uh, she's jumping in the power armor, so I need to get that on too. Okay. That boosts your armor up to, I think, 21. Uh, 
yeah, 21. Um, and you can absorb a hell of a lot of hits. Uh, after 35 Lower. damage, uh, a piece will start to drop off. So, unless they focus something specific, like they go after chess piece. Again, I think we might want to consider changing it. I don't know how you would change it, but yeah. Okie dokie. Sounds good to me. As so. we're getting set up, I'd like to set my sniper over the barricade and ready a shot for the first enclave troop that comes through the main doors. Um, how many mini nukes were with Big Butter when we found it? Zero. So I only have the one. Awesome. Yeah, one okay. and done. Alrighty, I'll be sure to save this. Quick question, DM. If I were to wield these like, guns are going to Kimbo, what are the same standard like dual wield or two weapon fighting? What rules apply? Yes. Yep. Same thing. That's fine. Yes. So, so I just have to adjust my 10 millimeter to fire, fire, the regular one for firing offhand. Does anyone around look like they could use an, a laser rifle? Uh, everybody well, here, all of the the troops are pretty well stocked and ready to go. Unless any of your uh, fellow team members would like one. I don't think any of them can use one. <laughs> I think Mivor can, because he's not, can he not use... He's using melee weapons. He also has a really cool power armor hammer. Yeah, or, uh, I mean... Uh, super Sledge. It might be useful if you wanted to stay at a distance, though, and fire before things get... Before things get too hairy. Mm -hmm. That's just my suggestion. I don't think there's a restriction on weapons for super mutants. Uh... No. Nope. There is for NPCs, but not for characters. So that okay. one's... <laughs> That one supply catch is the only, like, area of any supplies or anything? Correct. No, there's no, like, random healing or other things found in there? Uh, no, but there is a scribe around the corner that you can go talk to. Well, I'm still at full health, so, unless anyone else needs it. So, there if he just wants stem packs. Yep. Yep. And also, just in case, and... I'm gonna hand out one of the, one Nuka cola to everybody in my group. Save this for the end. <laughs> it might be soon. All right. Uh, as everybody gets prepared here. Is this basically the final battle? Mm -hmm. uh, the already open doors uh, to the far west give you a clear view out into the city streets which look directly downtown into the city of Chicago. As everybody prepares themselves and waits for the push, you feel the rumble of massive footsteps, followed by another set of footsteps directly behind. The entryway becomes dark, and with bated breath, you watch as the Enclave begins to re-enter into the pier. But you're caught off guard by the sight. A massive deathclaw, wearing a device around its head, crouches down, peering into the entryway, and lets out a very loud screech. And shouts into the room as it enters. Uh, as you watch, uh, the one officer enters into the room behind him, seemingly guiding him around, telling him what to do. I did have a ready shot. You did. I'll take it at the officer. All right. Uh, 15 hits. Nice. And with that, we're going to go ahead and roll initiative. The sniper is good luck for me. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, 
Well, I had my token selected, but it says I didn't. Go ahead and just click it and put it in and I'll change it. Okay. So here we go. Mivor, you see this giant beast and turn to the room. What are you doing? Um, will someone give me a rifle? Or... I did offer my yeah. rifle before. He, he tossed you back a laser rifle. What's that? Uh, yep. Alrighty. Go ahead and give me the roll. Oh, do you not have it in your thing? No. Oh, okay. single uh, fusion cell in there so you would get uh, I think it's 20 rounds yep yeah, unfortunately a five is not gonna hit it so as you fire off the uh, laser rifle in the direction of the death claw uh, your aim is not quite as accurate as your melee attacks would be and it misses the mark Ashton it is your turn though I'll use my steady aim and take another shot at the Enclave officer. Alrighty. Uh, unfortunately, a 10's not gonna hit. I'll use my action surge. Alrighty. Oh no. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, good thing I'm not doing uh, D100s on these tonight. Um, so yeah. yeah, twice in a row. You your back-to-back -back sniper shots miss the mark uh, as the officer kind of ducks behind uh, the death claw, taking or preventing from taking any damage. Uh, he begins to give his orders, uh, telling the death claw what to do, and then quickly grabs for uh, his uh, laser rifle and starts firing uh, in the direction of the uh, uh, paladin to your north, Ashton. Uh, first one misses, but the second one does connect with it. Uh, Beck, you're up. Beck? Yep. Um, okay. I'm gonna walk forward 15 feet. Okay. Yep, this week we're just in rain. Uh, take, go with Kimbo and take two shots with the with wolf pistols. Okay. Oh, oh. oh. oh, oh. Uh, both hit. You will be on fire. Right in the eye. Dealing a nice chunk of damage as you fire off the 10 millimeter, uh, the two 10 millimeters at the death claw, uh, setting him on fire, uh, dealing a good little bit of damage. Uh, Abigail, you are in power armor with a pistol. Oh, and I'm running back for cover. And you're hiding. <laughs> like, oh shit. Run away. 
How high are these barricades? Uh, those are about three foot tall. So we'd only be able to get half cover? Mm, yeah, about half cover, yeah. Unless you crouch below, which I was doing yeah. before. <laughs> which yeah. I'm gonna do if possible with that back over. I'm like, nope. <laughs> Stuck. Runs out, fires two shots, then dives back in behind cover. <laughs> All right, looks like I got a fire on the death cloth, so I'm gonna shoot him. All righty. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding, buddy. Don't hurt me. Sorry. Okay. You're now our tank, Abigail. Get out there. Pretty much, right? <laughs> Quick, toss me the super sledge. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm just looking over rules and stuff for this beast. Uh, okay. Yeah, so unfortunately your 10 millimeter shot does not go off. Um, okay. Um, he's going to uh, quickly run forward. Uh, yeah. You want to see terrifying? No. No. <laughs> uh, and then is now going to let out yet another loud roar. And I need everyone to give me a perception saving throw, please. Oh, no. Um, I did have a question now that uh, this is coming up. Oh, um, no. For Vault Survivor, it's still listed as minus two penalty to wisdom savings. Am I assuming that transfers yes, over to perception? Yeah. Yep. Sweet. So I have a minus two on this incoming. Cool. Wait, do you just mean everyone in the surrounding area or no, everyone? No, everybody within 60 feet of him. So that's a 14. Okay. Um not a one. It's not a one. It's not a one, no. Um, Super Mutant is afraid. Uh, Ashton and Beck, uh, surprisingly resolute uh, as the uh, Death Claw comes in and lets out this loud shout. However, Mivor and Abigail, you are now frightened of this beast uh, for one minute. Uh, or, if you can break out of it, uh, you can repeat your saving throw uh, on each of your turns, of course, uh, but you are going to run away from it as far as you can go. Uh, and with that, he is going to make a uh, claw attack at, uh, at Ashton and then is going to bite at uh, the paladin. Oh, so he does have reach. Good for him. Mm -hmm. Uh, 21 to hit with the claw, Ashton, dealing yeah, that 11 slashing. Uh, he crits the paladin, uh, on the bite, uh, dealing, oh shit, a lot of damage. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, dealing a nice little chunk of damage to him. Uh, but that is going to end his turn. Uh, Mivor, you are now terrified of it. You can make a, another perception save to try to break free. But if you fail, you are running away. Oh, what? Twice in a row. What is going on, dude? Oh, man. So you know, <laughs> you just keep moving as far away from it as you can go. So we just like 60 feet. Back up, we got this, and then look behind him and just see me more running away, and there's like a trail of just <laughs> the wetness. <laughs> uh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. Ashton, this thing is right up in your face, man. I'm just gonna take a shot. Okay. Oh yeah, 25 hits. All 
All right, anything else? Could I convince you to let me apply steady aim to that? Not after the fact. I did it earlier, but... Yeah, you did. <laughs> now you know. So yeah, you line up the shot on this uh, with your sniper rifle and fire in the direction of this death claw. It lands perfectly, dealing a nice little chunk of damage, but it doesn't look much worse for the wear. Uh, By the, the way, officer. how long does it take to reload? Um, reload is your action. Okay. So, uh, the officer begins waving his hand, uh, trying to get others to, to uh, file in. And as this is going on, you watch as a uh, an additional low tier guy runs in and quickly begins to file into this room uh, followed directly behind by the second soldier entering into that chamber um, that is going to be his turn Vec you were up oh Vex just like oh holy hell and then goes in so now that he's got someone in five feet time to take some sneak attack Sneak attack. Or not. Mm -hmm. Or not. So many natural ones. Man. Damn. Kind of terrifying. Um. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna move a little way around. This guy right here. Okay. Um, yeah, right so right both shots not hitting the mark. Uh, Abigail, this uh, death claw is really, really close. Time uh, to go. Well, you gotta, you gotta move first, and then you can save. I'm sorry, I did that backwards on the first one because it's oh, well, you were frightened he, from he, the previous round, and now you're breaking free afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Uh, either way, I yeah, you're still gone. Yep. yep. Um, with that, it is now the Death Claw's turn, and it's gonna get ugly. Okay. What do we got? I'm gonna die. Somebody gonna die. Wish I, wish I could help with my power armor, but I'm gone. I should have just I taken it. Um, yeah. So here we go. He is going to make five attacks. Five? What? What? Yeah, I, I offered I offered the power armor. I don't... Mm. Uh, all five of which, after landing a good shot on the paladin, he is now focused on the paladin. And four... Uh, no. Three of the five land. Uh, you watch as the armor starts to just tear away. Uh, watching as... Uh, chunks of this paladin's uh, T60 armor just falling off of it. Uh, he is kind of terrified of this beast now after taking so much damage all at once. We aren't even going to get used the mini nuke launcher. Yeah, I'm carrying not that. If, <laughs> not, if, not if she can't break free. <laughs> Could she have dropped it? No. <laughs> She's just running. That's all she can do. Eivor, move your movement and roll for breaking free. All right, one more. <laughs> no! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not a one, oh, though. Oh, <laughs> man. It's still not higher than it. Still not double digits. Oh, this one, is so one, bad. One, four, one, five, five, four. Uh, Ashton, you're up. <laughs> I'm gonna activate my steady aim and shoot the death claw. Okay. Uh, 17. 17 hits. 30. Oh, and you watch as you fire this shot directly at this death claw. It stumbles and kind of falls backwards a little bit. Uh, let's out yet again another loud growl as the shot hits perfect uh, and does a big chunk of damage to it. 
Then I try to put myself between the pallet and him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not my best choice, but whatever. That is that is certainly a choice. It may not be a wise one, but it's a choice. Uh, off to your northwest, uh, you hear the sound of uh, gunshots begin to ring out uh, from the Enclave individuals up here. Uh, and the officer continues to give his directions uh, to the Death Claw, uh, ending his turn. Uh, Beck, it is your turn, though. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna take another two shots at the, uh, at the baby ugly. Mm hmm. Another crit. Yes. Alright. Give me that damage on that first one. Thirty-five. Sweet, nice. sweet damage. Oh, and uh, go ahead and give me the one d four roll as well for the start of his turn. Alright, so uh, as you fire off the the blast from the, uh, the uh, officer's pistol that you picked up earlier, uh, you see that it is really effective against this guy and it is catching him on fire every single time and it is doing significant damage to him. Abigail. I don't know, actually move oh, back. Yes. Um... I'm gonna move, stay within 50 feet, but I'm gonna move. Actually, no, I'm just gonna move back toward like the barricade back right here. Well, guys, this has been fun. I'm gonna just go this way. Oh, this sucks. Pretend like you're going to see the news anchor. <laughs> yep, I'll just double my move and be done. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, ouch. Okay. Let us know how the battle goes, okay? Ashton deciding to put himself between Deathclaw and the Paladin. Saving my superior. He's going to take all five swipes. We're Ashton. 19, 23, 18, nat 20, and 23. You said 19, 23, nat 20, what? <laughs> 18 and 23. Yeah, yeah, those all hit. Okay. Um, then, um, what is your full health? 34. Um, so, 14, 10, 12. Um, yeah, he drops you immediately. Like you're dead. Like, whatever. how much damage did I take exactly? Uh, you took 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 87 damage from all five swipes. All of them hit. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta share this because wow, that's. You don't, you don't have to. I don't have to, but I want to. Look at my health bar. It, it's like, yeah, like empty. No, it's I negative. put in the negative. <laughs> how far? How far over your max health are you? I'm about double. Mm -hmm. Oh, that should. You should be dead. Yeah. Oh, I'm very go. dead. Mm -hmm. And the crit. Uh, wasn't factoring the double damage on that, so yeah, that's that's ugly. Well, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Ouch. I'm sorry, Ashton, but your journey has ended. Me for can we get the Fallout death noise? The death noise? I don't have the death noise though. You weren't expecting us to die? I, 
I was expecting yes, he it. I, I was expecting it to be very, very, very hard. I was also expecting you to run like hell and keep trying to keep away from the Deathclaw. <laughs> you did hey, not hey, hear you my got, You got one of those right. At I did. Least we are running. You are running. <laughs> hey, at least you guys are going to get far enough away that it won't matter. Like, it's going to take a while for the Deathclaw to get to you. I mean, I'm pretty may much. Die by I'm, I'm I'm heading to the followers of the apocalypse. I'm done with this brotherhood <laughs> crap. So I actually have family over right now, so I'm gonna hop off. Yep, absolutely. Thank you for playing. Thanks for the, thanks for the cool death forge. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, oh, that's rough. Okay, uh, Mivor, make your movement and then roll for getting out. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Um, the officer now uh, ordering what appears to be executions uh, in the northwest uh, going unimpeded up here. Uh, Beck, your turn. Ugh, just watching my comrade drop like a sack of potatoes. This is going to take me two more shots. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Both hit. At least that paladin's still within five feet. Yep. Alright, uh, and you look at the uh, death claw, and he's looking rough. Uh, he's taking a lot of damage, and he is not looking very good here. Anything else? No, nope, I'm just going to stand my ground and wait for him to come in. <laughs> okay. Abigail. Can we get some, like, can we get some backup on this? <laughs> I've seen no one else doing anything currently. I, I guess I'm going to keep running and save. As this is going on, just so you guys are aware, all of these other troops are firing at him and whittling down his damage. I just want to expedite it, and I don't <sighs> want to. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is why I have a negative. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Deathclaw time. Um, what else is he doing? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, hold on, I gotta do something here. Uh, so as, um, uh, as Bex attacks land on this death claw, you watch as the death claw begins to run away. Trying to make his way out of the area, um, seemingly retreating. Levor, uh, you can now get in combat. And you're really far away. Yay! I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, my path. Um, that fit here. Not really. I mean, I'll allow it for this, uh, but yeah, the hallways are a little weird. Alright, um, stop here, but, um, kind of yell at Abigail to snap out of it. You have a jump. Can't let her friends die in your home. Okay. Uh, the officer, uh, frantic as the death cloth starts running away, uh, grabs onto the controller he has in his hand, kind of bashing it, trying to get the attention of the death claw, uh, stop it from running. Uh, Beck, it is your turn. I'm going to move up. Let's see. I'm 
I'm going to use my cunning action dash to get up within... Actually, I'm going to get within range of the officer since the death claw is currently running away. Okay. Yeah, that should, that should work. So use my cutting actions, that's my bonus action. Okay. I'm going to just take the one shot with the Ashes pistol. Alrighty. Yep, it hits. At the officer? Yes, sir. Alrighty. Give me some damage. And he is now on fire. Yeah, the, the death claw is not on fire now. Alright, anything else? Well, there's anything out this far that's covering unless I backtrack, right? What's that? There's nothing out here I can use as cover unless I backtrack, right? Ah, uh, correct. Yeah, I'll... Yeah, I'll still back up though, because... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh... Back Abigail. up there should be my phone move. Alright, you're up, Abigail. Uh... You can, can move... Can get from yelling at me? You can move and you will get advantage on your save. Son uh -huh. of a bitch. Are you serious? Wow. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Those are some could I, notoriously could I, could I, bad rolls. Could I have just dropped the fat man near him so he can just nuke that area and we can be done? Uh, don't, don't nuke the area. Uh, you can... Yeah, I, I dropped the fat man. He can probably get a better use out of it while I'm running. Okay. Uh, the death claw, uh, feeling the, uh, the pain and uh, stuff from the, the headset that's on his head uh, for the mind control device, uh, from the officer bashing into this controller, uh, gets infuriated at the officer and lays into him as he's running by. Um, all but one is going to hit. Uh, Bye-bye, officer. 30, 40. Uh, yeah. And as he swipes through, uh, the claws just ripping him apart. Uh, destroys this officer and the uh, death claw quickly runs away and goes out of view. Uh, gunshots, however, continue to be heard uh, to the northwest of the area. Uh, Mivor, it is now your turn. Officer's dead, Beck. What are you doing? I'm gonna use kind of action dash to get up close to where the officer is. Okay. Uh, as you uh, begin to approach where the officer is, you look to the north uh, and you see what appears to be uh, uh, a, one of the uh, soldiers and a trainee that is opening fire on. Uh, the initiates and the squires within the chambers here. Then I run past the officer and I notice that I haven't got a good look at anything that he has on him. 
Uh, who? The officer? No, he doesn't really have anything special on him. He had the controller for the death claw. Hmm. Interesting to keep in mind, but first, I, I'm going to open fire on the first Enclave guy, since he's right by Paladin. Okay. So, sneak attack. Yep. And he's taken a big beating because they're fighting off, uh, one, of the, one of the Brotherhood Knights is fighting him off. Uh, 14 is going to hit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so as you uh, quickly respond, uh, trying to help the knight, uh, you watch as uh, your shot rings true and it drops the soldier to the ground unmoving. Right in the back of the head. Mm-hmm. That'll be my turn since I use my bonus action. Alrighty. Uh, Abigail. Hopefully you're gonna break through this. I'm s still running. With advantage. Man. Away I go. It's so tough, man. It sucks. It, it It's just like the one thing that can stop me because I have that penalty too. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Mivor, you're up. both my guns and walk up into the room to get a better view. Okay. Uh, just kind of walk forward into the room. Uh, you see that the uh, soldier and the uh, lower tier soldier have already managed to kill uh, both the initiates. Uh, initiates. Uh, the scribe is not looking well uh, and a couple of the uh, squires have been killed. Would one of those other two, would one of would the paladin have possibly moved up into position to then fire P? This one? Yes, that guy. What about him? Would he have moved up to five, into five feet of the mm. remaining enemy? Not yet. Oh, balls. <laughs> I'll take both shots then. Okay. The first one hits. Give me some good damage on it. Give me some good damage. Okay. Uh, kind of staggers forward. Uh, very little left uh, as he takes a big chunk of damage from that attack. Um, I don't want to uh, step around the doorway for some cover. All right, Abigail, you are up. Hey, you did it. Hooray. Yay. Now I get to spend this time running back. <laughs> Hey. Complete opposite end of the map. Ah, oh, that's... Yeah, that's, that's me. Alright. Um, so a little time has passed. And... Guess what? Oh, hell. Is returned to the battle. Uh, seeing back in front of him, quickly charges, jumping in the air, and looks to make a powerful leap attack at him. 
Let's see what this. I'm getting touched. I wish. <laughs> go I ahead. Have... Go ahead and give me a strength save, please. <laughs> <laughs> This will end. Oh God! Oh. Wow! Um, wow! So as the Deathclaw re-enters the fight, uh, he pounces on top of you, knocking you prone, and then begins to claw at you while you are on the ground, getting advantage on all four of his attacks. This is bullshit. <laughs> 22, nat 20, 22, and 16. That was my... I'm dead. My back. Yeah. That is now two. As the death claw starts to ravage Beck. Uh, unfortunately, uh, taken down by the death claw. Mivor, you're up. And I saved it too from its cruel. Uh, you did. Cruel master. What a dick. Roll, roll that animal handling to befriend. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, I want to see something. Cause, cause you have that, you have big bada boom, don't you? Do. do what's oh, oh. Just do the, do the area. Oh. Let's get out of here. Do it. I, I say do it. It's. Uh, Older choose space within range. Okay, and you need to. Yeah. Uh, Uh, yep, so it lands right where you want it to be in a 45 foot radius. Uh, where do you want to aim it? On. On the death claw? On the death claw. Oh, Just to make sure okay. we can't recover back. Oh, oh. Oh, all no. Yeah, all of them. They're, oh, go ahead and say it. They're all in there. It's fine. They're expendable. Oh. <laughs> we we knew what we knew what we were getting into. That's oh, why I hadn't okay. shot it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me the damage. Yeah. I apologize. I thought it was a blast. Uh, it's a one. So, uh, yeah, it was a one shot, one kill because I made it specifically for the, the Deathclaw uh, because it doesn't, as you see, it doesn't have uh, a nuclear property. The mini nuke that you picked up was a modified one that had shrapnel inside of it. So as it explodes, uh, it just disintegrates the death claw. However, it disintegrates everything in its view. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck. How many things died from this? Uh, but uh, on a positive note, you have the highest kill count, even if half of them are. Like, Somehow pulled okay. ahead of Abigail. On your side. Good job. <laughs> that kill count, though. That kill count, though. Uh, the scribe is going to avoid taking damage uh, because he's hidden around the corner here. Uh, and line of sight will be blocked so it won't hit him. Holy shit. Okay. Now I gotta think of how this is gonna end, cause that's that's something. Um, we stopped them. You stopped them, all right? Okay, so just um, see all the negative karma pop up in oh, the top dude, left. Dude, it's gonna be so bad. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I, I was joking about the brother. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> so, as you drop the nuke on top of the death claw, uh, you feel a small victory despite the number of deaths that had taken place. Uh, well, they would rather go that way than break apart by the death claw. I'm okay. I've made my peace. Uh, as you secure the, uh, you started the event securing the auditorium, which appeared to be just a trick uh, to help keep the Brotherhood uh, moving forward as the uh, men and women inside of the chambers were able to get a little bit of extra time uh, to prepare themselves. Uh, holding off the the wave af allowing them to hold off wave after wave of incoming troops uh giving them a chance to actually uh get out into a couple of the boats and secure the waters along the pier as well uh, you were also able to successfully uh secure the vertebrae docks uh the brotherhood preventing a potential disaster as uh the vertebrates are basically the lifeline for them in the Midwest. Uh, had the Enclave gotten their hands on any number of the vertebrates, the Navy Pier pretty well could have fallen to the Enclave. Um, you did check in with Stephen Adam and his desire. Uh, he has a desire to spread radio transmissions of GNR uh, obviously will not fall upon deaf ears as uh, his uh, plans to do so are now going to be heard by uh, Elder Marbach uh, the lead of the Brotherhood here in Chicago uh, thanks to your assistance in proving that he can be useful to the Brotherhood uh, unfortunately uh, the death of many of the squires would eventually take its toll on Elder Marbach as her son Justin was amongst one of them uh, after his death and a few years had passed uh, Elder Megan Marbach would eventually lose her grasp on stability and plummet into a pit of darkness which would ultimately consume her life. Uh, the path of the entire brotherhood would forever be changed in the blink of an eye. And so our detachment's success, so to speak, in the Navy Pier behind them would now look forward, uh, hoping their path ahead would be a bit easier despite losing so many uh, that they have worked uh, for so long with. Uh, next uh, ahead of them would be the uh, securing the uh, Jardine water purification plant directly to the north and begin delivering fresh water to the waste and restore a bit of hope to the Midwest wastelands. And that ends our one shot for tonight. <sighs> you got Ashton and Beck. <laughs> Hey, Castle Mac, thank you for the raid. Uh, very much appreciate it. Uh, was not oh, expecting yeah, it. it, and you come in just at the right end. Right on time, but still appreciate just it. Just at the end, uh, but thank you so much. I very, very much appreciate it. I really do. Um, yes, we, so, uh, we had gonna go ahead a very interesting game uh testing yeah, out this system yeah. thank you mac again i i appreciate it very much uh, Val never uh, cut again. so what did you guys think um i'm sure that would have gone differently had you saved yeah had we had we had we yeah. saved at any point sooner yeah um poor poor becky should have had the power armor <laughs> I, I took i took i took the kill weapon and the good armor oh, and man. ran i felt so bad kill uh, like okay i'm glad it's a one shot because i didn't feel as bad killing characters like i expected it but i didn't expect it to be like that bad you know yeah yeah death claws are terrifying man now we just need 
must have declared shenanigans. What is going on with my push to talk? Uh, we need you to. We need you to. We need you to roll that well against Sky Tarnus now. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let me end the stream. I'll come back. We'll discuss all of this, figure out how we're going to plan for the uh, upcoming uh, actual campaign. Uh, but I'm going to talk to stream and then I'll uh, be back here. All right, guys. So, again, thank you, uh, Castle Mac, very much for the host. I so truly appreciate it <sighs> let's see uh with that i'm going to figure out exactly where our stream is gonna go uh let's send stream over to covert uh, so we're going to trade covert I thank you guys again for being here very much. Uh, I hope to see you soon. If you don't already do so, give me a follow. Uh, we do a lot of D&D games here. Uh, so you're welcome to come and join us at any time. Uh, we would be glad to have you here. Uh, thank you again, and I will see you guys again very soon.